time again it's time for the preaching of the cross the showing of the body in the blood of the Lord or the preaching of the cross it is the wisdom and the power of God put Jesus back into your Easter this season and join us for the preaching of the cross convention 2024 at the world class Arara International Conference Center from 5.30 p.m. on Thursday, the 28th of March, through to Easter Sunday, the 31st of March, 2024. Join Andrew Taunishi, a seasoned man of God whose ministry has changed thousands of people all over the world through the power and wisdom of Jesus Christ and experience the preaching of the cross that will bring salvation and miracles to your life. I've been healed, I can now see proper. Admission is free. Put Jesus back into your Easter. Shalom everyone. Welcome to the African Revival TV program, Family Worship. My name is Pastor Kenny Mfuma. We want to take time to just worship the name of the Lord, to bless and exalt his holy name. Getting into it, we just want to welcome our mother, dear mother, lovely, powerful, very excited mother all the way from the United Kingdom. She goes by the name Mrs. Anna Zengea and she sings about the power of the cross. She says that is a superpower. Enjoy, be blessed, superpower.
That was Mrs. Zengaya singing about the power of the cross. And right about now, we want to welcome the Christ Africa group, a group of young people from Botswana. They sing in Setswana and they say, Onaledi Yamasa. Meaning you are the bright morning star. Jesus, you are the bright morning star. They worship and bless the Lord in an African way. The Setswana way. Let's just worship with them and be blessed. Jesu Christi Onaledi Yamasa. Benya Benya. Oh, come and shine. Bright and morning star. Benya Benya. Onaledi Yamasa. Oh, come and shine. Bright and morning star. Benya Benya. Jesu Kirisi tuna leji ya masa 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 Upazimo na leji ya masa
Benya Benya na lady Yamasa. Powerful. Very powerful. I trust that you are enjoying and that you are blessed by that. Don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe to this channel. I'm sure you can see it down here. Um, just make sure that you subscribe and that you share with your friends. Hallelujah. You know, moving forward, we want to welcome a beautiful family. You know, they call themselves, they are actually the Moshesha family. They sing about the cross. They have a song, a beautiful song, and they say, they call it crucifixion. It's going to bless you, I'm sure. Let's enjoy crucifixion.
they took paper rope off him and led our Lord Jesus Christ to crucify him for the sake of our souls, for the sake of you and me to live forever and ever. to sing with our mother Mrs. Mushosho as she says Munoita Minana Munoita Minana
it's time for the preaching of the cross. The showing of the body and the blood of the Lord. Or the preaching of the cross. It is the wisdom and the power of God. Put Jesus back into your Easter this season and join us for the preaching of the cross convention 2024 at the World Class Arara International Conference Center from 5.30 p.m. on Thursday, the 28th of March through to Easter Sunday, the 31st of March, 2024. Join Andrew Taunashin, a seasoned man of God whose ministry has changed thousands of people all over the world through the power and wisdom of Jesus Christ and experience the preaching of the cross that will bring salvation and I'm miracles to your life. I've been healed, I can now see properly. Admission is free. Put Jesus back into your Easter. Or the body and the blood of the Lord. Or the preaching of the cross. It is the wisdom and the power of God. Put Jesus back into your Easter this season and join us for the preaching of the cross convention 2024 at the World Class Arara International Conference Center from 5.30 p.m. on Thursday, the 28th of March through to Easter Sunday, the 31st of March, 2024. Join Andrew Taunashi, a seasoned man of God whose ministry has changed thousands of people all over the world through the power and wisdom of Jesus Christ and experience the preaching of the cross that will bring salvation and miracles to your life. I've been healed, I can now see properly. Admission is free. Put Jesus back into your Easter. It's Easter time again. It's time for the preaching of the cross. The showing of the body and the blood of the Lord. Or the preaching of the cross. It is the wisdom and the power of God. Put Jesus back into your Easter this season and join us for the preaching of the cross convention 2024 at the World Class Arara International Conference Center from 5.30 p.m. on Thursday, the 28th of March, through to Easter Sunday, the 31st of March, 2024. Join Andrew Taunashi, a seasoned man of God whose ministry has changed thousands of people all over the world through the power and wisdom of Jesus Christ and experience the preaching of the cross that will bring, bring salvation and miracles to your life. I've been healed, I can now see properly. Admission is free. Put Jesus back into your Easter. It's Easter time again. It's time for the preaching of the cross. The showing of the body and the blood of the Lord. Or the preaching of the cross. It is the wisdom and the power of God. Put Jesus back into your Easter this season and join us for the preaching of the cross convention 2020. And I'm miracles to your life.
It's Easter time again. It's time for the preaching of the cross. The showing for the body in the blood of the Lord or the preaching of the cross it is the wisdom in the power of God put Jesus back into your Easter this season and join us for the preaching of the cross convention 2024 two, one, at the two. world class Arara International Conference Center from 5.30pm on Thursday the 28th of March through to Easter Sunday the 31st of March 2024 Join Andrew Taunishi, a seasoned man of God whose ministry has changed thousands of people all over the world through the power and wisdom of Jesus Christ and experience the preaching of the cross that will bring salvation and miracles to your life. I've been healed, I can now see proper. Admission is free. Put Jesus back into your Easter. Hallelujah! 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 We stand to our feet in the presence of the Father. I welcome you on this holy Saturday. In this beautiful Easter weekend. As we continue on our journey of the preaching of the cross convention. I welcome you to the house of the Lord. On behalf of God's servant, our father, the apostle and prophet Andrew Taunashe. Allow me to welcome all the servants of the Lord. The archbishop, the bishops, and the pastors, and the ministers. All our elders and our deacons. Every father and every single mother. All the young people. And above all, the little children, the owners of the church. And if you are with us for the first time, we welcome you in a special way. I also want to welcome you joining us on the live stream from all over the world. Welcome to the house of the Lord. It's been a powerful weekend where God has been unveiling unto us Christ crucified that we may understand the principles of the power of the cross. And last night we entered into the higher stages of worship as we saw in the account of Exodus 15, how Moses and the children of Israel began to sing, singing of the experiences and the God that they knew. And that when we begin to see that power, when you declare it, how about how he is a just God? Not only does God, does God then declare it about you, in the same way that he declared Jesus as his son, but out of, it, out of you must come declaration and prayer. A proof of the total assurance of what was won for you on the cross. And when that happens in your life, you release an enforcing power. There's a power that is very violent that is able to change all your circumstances. Your understanding of this enforcing power of the cross is a very critical issue. And when you understand it, you declare it. You speak of that power. And it must not just be an event, but it must remain with you. So we then respond to that enforcing power of the cross. The first response being in prayer. I have believed, therefore have I spoken boldly. God wants you to engage and to talk to him and to acknowledge him. This power was given unto all of us. It is through prayer. It has no special relevance. Because God is not a respecter of a person. 
As you declare it, the power will be able to go and to work on your life. Secondly, you declare it by your confession. When you keep on declaring and acknowledging the good things that you have that came out of the enforcing power of the cross of Jesus Christ. These then form the main body of your worship. Your personal worship, our corporate worship together as the body, it proceeds out of the realities of the power of the cross, which molds and forms the way that we acknowledge him. The prophet showed us in a very clear way how Exodus 14, 15 is a narration. You're able to see exactly what God did for the children of Israel. They spoke of exactly what happened in detail. And they even elevated their worship and began to even look forward after understanding what God has done. They then look forward to what God is going to do. That's why the phrase is there, I will sing unto the Lord. So worship proceeds out of your journey of that enforcement of the things that are declared concerning you by the power of the cross. It proceeds even from the smaller things that God has done. But we must also be able to incorporate testimonies in our worship. That's why it was wholly declared that later on this day, we're going to have a service entirely dedicated to testimonies. You have your worship of thanksgiving concerning the things that have happened but above all elevated to a prophetic worship where you're looking forward to what God is going to do in your life. But it's Holy Saturday and on this day as we gather in this Easter weekend we remember the journey of the preaching of the cross on this day the body of Jesus laid lifeless. All the disciples and the followers of Jesus were in full of despair. They were full of bitterness and frustration. This Jesus that we walked with for all these years, we saw him healing and delivering people. He walked among us. He promised us that we will be fishers of men. He promised that, that he will show us a kingdom to come. We left everything and followed him. But look at him now. His body is defeated. He's killed. He's dead. He's lying there. So everyone was full of despair. The Romans felt like they've won. They felt like they've done it. They are victorious. The Pharisees, the the Sadducees are celebrating. The entire Sanhedrin is celebrating. But what they did not know that while his body laid lifeless there, Jesus was on a journey. His journey is shown unto us in Ephesians 4. Verse 9 it tells us now that he ascended what is it but that he also descended into the lower parts of the earth while the body was laid lifeless Jesus descended into the very gates of hell when the demons thought they were celebrating thinking that they were victorious they did not know that Jesus was about to appear Jesus appeared in that demonic world. The Bible says he made a public show of them. And Revelations 1 tells us 
that he took the keys of life life and death. So while we are here journeying, we are celebrating that if only the demonic world had known, they would have never crucified the Son of God. We are celebrating that Jesus defeated Satan. We are celebrating that Jesus defeated every demonic force. That Jesus took the keys of life and death. And that you shall ascend and appear unto us. This is our portion this day. I want you to remember Jesus in making a public show of the enemy. Just raise your hands in thanksgiving. Say, Lord, I remember on how you descended into the lower parts of hell. And now you made a public show of the enemy. We celebrate that work here. We celebrate the power of the cross that appeared unto hell. That destroyed every force of the enemy. And that took the keys of life and death. Oh Lord, we worship and we give you all the glory. We thank you for this beautiful Easter weekend. We thank you that even on this day, we keep our minds remembering that though Jesus looked lifeless on the earth he descended into the very gates of hell and defeated the enemy and took the keys of life and death and made a public show of the enemy and we may escape the gates of hell that he, that he may bring unto us life eternal in Jesus mighty name we love you Lord Jesus we will worship and we crown you. We honor you and we give you all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, come on, let's clap our hands unto Jesus. He has defeated hell. You have nothing to fear anymore. We want to continue in prayer and in consecration as we celebrate the workings of our Lord Jesus. The man of God, our Father, when God called him and told him to be able to go out and to preach his word. He made a promise that I'm going to give you people. But little did he know that he would give you people that will be very faithful. That will have the same passion and drive that he has concerning the building of the house of the latter glory. And the man I'm introducing is one such kind of a man. A man who was called to our father the apostle. But a very obedient son. A very faithful son who carries out the instructions of our father the apostle and in him as the mindset of, of a Timothy a mindset that Timothy has which is a militant mindset carrying out and doing the work unto, to his factual end God raised him and he joins together with Overseer in being in leading the bishopric in the United Kingdom. But he's also a shepherd of God's people. We want to welcome right now. Let's welcome our bishop. Bishop Let's welcome our pastor. Let's welcome the beloved bishop Robert Majonga. Bishop Robert Majonga. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to welcome you once again on behalf of our Father, Apostle and Prophet Andrew Taunashe. I come here as a son to the Apostle. You know, like what Jesus said. Jesus said, that which I see my Father do. Is that which I do. We thank God for this powerful convention of the power of the cross. And we have had a, a great summary from Bishop uh, Andrew Mateta. Let's give him a clap offer. But my business this morning is that we may pray in 
what the apostle was saying to us last night. In the first point of our declaration. It is prayer. It is prayer. It is prayer. It is prayer. And what is prayer? It's just talking to God. About what he has done in our lives. And that which he can do in this place. David said, I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. And I will enter his courts with praise. From Friday to yesterday, we saw the faithfulness of God. We saw his love towards us by unleashing a great word which came from, 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 the, from the altars of God through his seventh apostle. So before we do anything today, Many were healed yet from yesterday. Many were delivered. Fails were taken away. Where we have a misconception about the cross of Jesus Christ. But God came to us. He said it is through our declarations that we we partake of the power of the cross. Uh, that we we confront uh, the things which are before us. Uh, I want you to lift up your hands uh, this morning. I want you to thank God uh, for what he has done. Uh, for the word he has spoken to us. Uh, even the prophetic word which is releasing this place. Uh, even the power which is releasing. Uh, we thank him in advance uh, of what he's going to do. Even this service today. Uh, Father in the name of Jesus. We want to thank you this morning. We give all the glory, Father. We give all the honor, Father. Father, we come with thanksgiving in our hearts. We thank you for Jesus. We thank you for that power of the cross. We thank you, Father, that you ordained us to be declarants of the power of the cross. To be declarant of the power of the cross, of the testimonies of Jesus, of the works of God, that which has done in our lives. Father, we thank you, Father, for the people who got saved yesterday, the people who were healed yesterday, the power of God which was seen in this place, the revelation of God, the understanding, the word which was released to us by your servant, the apostle of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you for understanding, oh God, that we are no longer the same people, Father. We are, in, we are now a new people, oh God, with the power, Father, to declare the gospel of Jesus Christ, to declare the works of the Lord, that which he has done in our lives. Thank God even for your salvation. Say, Lord, thank you that you loved me before I even loved you, oh God. Lord, we thank you. By the God of heaven, we thank you that you send your son Jesus Christ to die on the cross and he rose again, oh God, that he may destroy the works of the enemy in my life, in the lives of your people, in the life of the church. Father, we thank you, Father, for this African revival. We thank you for this church, oh God. We thank you, Father, for this great company. In the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you for your servant. We thank you for the apostle. We thank you for our bishops, oh God. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we come to you with thanksgiving, oh God. We thank you for this congregation. The power of the cross, Father. Father, we thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, that the devil has been defeated. Where he intended to distract us. Where he thought that this would not happen. But today we say thank you. In the name of Jesus. Maria Chaka Baba 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 in the name of Jesus, John chapter number 12, John verse number 30, and 30 to 33, the Bible says, the Bible says and Jesus answered and said, 
This voice came not because of me. But for your sake. Now is the judgment of this world. And, and now shall the prince of this world be cast out. And I, if I be lifted up from, he, from the earth, will draw men unto me. And this signifying what death he should die. You heard from Bishop B.V. here that today Jesus is descending into a hell. And then it is Jesus himself who is saying here. He said this voice is not because of me. But it is for your sake. Now is the judgment of the world. Now shall the prince of this world be cast out. I want you to understand today that the prince of this world is being cast out because Jesus died on the cross. Died on the cross. But what is that we need to do today? We want to lift him up. He said, when I, you lift me up on this earth, I will draw men unto me. The reason why we are gathered in this place is that you may lift up Jesus. The preaching of the cross it's nothing else but to lift up Jesus he said when I lift up Jesus on high I will draw men unto myself I want you to lift up Jesus today lift up Jesus today how do you lift up Jesus you are saying you are the son of the Bible. you are the most high God the one who died that you may destroy the works of the enemy have preeminence in this place rule in this place he said when you lift Jesus up. He will draw men unto him. How do we lift up Jesus? By telling him who he is. What he's able to do. Lift up your hands like now. Let us lift up Jesus in this convention. We want to see Jesus. We want to see Jesus. We want to see his works. We want to see his works. We want to see his works. Through the ministry of the word of God. Through the preaching of the word. In our worship. We lift you up, Jesus. They say there's no one like unto you. In the name of Jesus, we lift you up on high. Today, we lift you up on high. You say you are the King of Kings. You are the Lord of Lords. Have your way in this place. Have your way in this conference. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Yes, we come before you, God. We lift up Jesus. Let Jesus be lifted up. We lift him up on high. You are the King of Kings. You are the Lord of Lords. There is no one like unto you. Who is worthy to be praised? Fearful in praises. Doing wonders. Even this convention, you are going to do wonders. You are going to do wonders. We thank you for the wonders which you have done in the past two days. But you continue to do wonders in this place today through the minister of the word, through our worship. To the minister of our Father, the Apostle, we lift you up on high, Lord Jesus. We lift you up on high, Jesus. Be thou praised. Be thou worshipped, O Lord. There is no one like unto you. There is no one like unto you. There is no one like unto you. Today, Father, we lift you up on high. We lift you up on high. Let Jesus be preached in this place. Let him draw men unto himself. Lord Jesus, draw men unto yourself in this place. Place, in this world, in this nation, in the nations where we have a revival, we pray in the name of Jesus that you may draw men unto yourself, draw women unto yourself in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Ba 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 
In the name of Jesus. Second Corinthians 4, verse number 5. Hey, From verse number 5. He said, For we preach not ourselves, for five, but Christ Jesus, Jesus the Lord. Christ Jesus. And ourselves and your servants for Jesus. He is so tiri, verse 6 says, For God who, command, who commanded the light to shine out of darkness has shined in our hearts to give the light of knowledge of the glory of God. God, in the face of our Lord Jesus Christ. He said he shined out of darkness and shined in our hearts. Lift up your hands today and pray to God and say, hey Lord, let Jesus shine in our hearts. In this service today, in this convention, we don't want to see things. We don't want to see people in action. We don't just want to see see performance of men. We want Jesus to shine in our hearts. Let Jesus shine in the hearts of men in this place, in this preaching of the cross, in this nation. Let Jesus shine in our hearts as we hear the word of God, as we worship God. Let Jesus shine in our hearts as we realize, as he give us the light, light and the knowledge of the glory of God. Yes, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, let Jesus, Jesus shine in our hearts and his glory be seen in our hearts. The glory be seen in this place. The glory of the Lord be seen in our service. In that which we do, oh God, we want to see Jesus. We want to see Jesus shining in our hearts, shining in our service, shining in that which we do. And let it not be us, but let it be Jesus. Let it be Jesus. It's about Jesus today. In the name of Jesus Christ, because we have him in our earthen vessels that the excellent of the power of God that the power of God that the excellent of the power of God that is the manifested try to God lift up your hands and say Father we pray for the excellent of your power that it may be revealed to us the excellent of your power that it may be seen in this place the excellent of your power that it may be seen in the preaching of the word of God in the ministry of the word of God as the singers worship as your servant come to minister I pray in the name of Jesus that the excellence of your power the power of Jesus Christ the power of enforcement the power of enforcement the power of declaration that it may be seen that it may be revealed in this place today in the name of Jesus that it may be revealed that it may be revealed even when the troubles are by the power of your excellence, the excellence of your power, let it be revealed in the lives of your people in the church today. As we are in your presence, as we are gathered in this place at the foot of the cross, we want to see that excellent power, that power of the cross, that the power of the cross, that power of the first man, in the name of Jesus Christ, help us, oh God, that when we leave this place, we will never be the same again, but we will go out of this place fearing, oh God, fearing, oh God, the body of the dying Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, that his body, his power, that it may be manifested even in our lives, in that which we do, in our lives, oh God, in our families, oh God, in our churches, oh God, in the African revival, in the name of Jesus Christ, Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray, Father, for the excellence of your power, the power of the cross, that it may be revealed, that it may be manifested in this place today. Father, as we serve you, as we worship you, in the name of Jesus Christ, about the works of God, about that you have done in our lives, 
does those things you have done in our lives, in our revival, in the church, and those we are going to do in this year, oh God, in this year, Father, we pray, Father, for the excellence of your power in the name of Jesus, 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 Father, today, Father, we come in faith, and we believe in you, we believe in this, this power, we believe in this power, because we believe in this power, we declare today that in this place let there be miracles. In this place let there be salvation. In this place let there be deliverance. Lift up your hands right now. That God, as you reveal unto us the excellence of your power, make those declarations in the name of Jesus Christ. The things we want to experience, the things we want to see in this place, declare them right now. Declare the power of God that it may be revealed openly. Let your seven minutes at the word of God. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus that it may reveal of God salvation of God. We declare salvation. We declare healing. We declare abundance. We declare the move of the power of God in the name of Jesus. We declare today that your power is going to be seen openly. It's going to be seen openly. Those who are bound, they are going to be loosed. Those who are in sin, they are going to be saved. Those who are in sickness, they are going to be healed. We declare today the seeing of the blind, the opening of the blind eyes, the opening of the deaf ears, the, 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 the loosening of God, of hard hearts of God. In the name of Jesus, guys, because of that power of the cross, because of your excellent power, Father, let there be salvation. Let there be joy in this place. Because you said in your word, the joy of the Lord is our strength. Father, we declare today salvation. We declare today healing. We declare today giving in a liberality of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, we declare today reference of the work of God. Honor, O God. In the name of of Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you today. We call upon you today. In the name of Jesus, we pray, Father, for ourselves, O oh God. We declare today, O oh God, today, Father, as your word comes, it's going to have a place in my own heart. It's going to have a place in my life. It's going to have a place in our revival. It's going to have a place in the hearts of men. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Pray, Father God, for your power, oh God, for your power, Father, for your power, Father, let it be revealed, let it be seen openly, let it be seen openly in this nation, Father, in this revival, Father, in this gathering, Father, we pray in the name of Jesus, for your hand, oh God, that it may be upon us, upon your people, God, speak to every one of us, speak to every one of them, that they may see Jesus, that they may see Jesus, that they may see thee, Jesus. That they may see Jesus. But I want to see you, Jesus. Jesus, we want to see you. We have seen that you were crucified. And today, you are going down to the deep of deep to make a public show, a demonstration of the destruction of the work of the enemies because of your excellent power. Father, in the name of Jesus, we ask you today that you may destroy every work of the enemy in this place, in our lives, in the church, in that we should do with that, we touch with our hands. In the name of Jesus, guys. In the name of Jesus, the Bible tells us the theme of this convention which God showed to his seven apostles. He said, but we preach Jesus crucified unto the Jews, unto us. He says, stumbling block unto the Greeks and the foolishness, but unto them which are called both Jews and Greeks Christ, the power of God and the wisdom of God. Let's cry for that power. Let's cry for that wisdom in the name of Jesus Christ. Because the preaching of the gospel to us, it is the power of God. We want that power. We want to see that power. We want to experience that power. We want to touch that power. We want to feel that power. When we enter into this place, let people experience that power. Because the preaching of the 
but every person, every as, nation as in, he that feared him and worked righteousness is accepted by him and the word of God which is sent unto the children of Israel preaching peace by Jesus Christ he is Lord of all that word I say you know which was published throughout Judea which was published throughout the family of God church which was published throughout the African revival he said after the baptism which John preached how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and the power and he went about doing good healing all that was oppressed of the devil for God was with him this is our prayer today that how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and the power we want God to anoint his servant apostle and with the Holy Spirit and power that when he comes to preach the word of God that he may preach it he may preach it with the Holy Ghost and power that the people may be delivered he said he anointed him with the Holy Spirit and power and he went about doing good preaching the word let the word of God be preached by the apostles through the power of Jesus Christ the power of the cross lift up your hands to the Father lift up and pray for our Father Apostle and Prophet Andrew Taunashe say Lord anoint your servant today with the Holy Spirit and the power that the power of the cross the excellent power of Jesus Christ anoint your servant with the Holy Ghost and power that you may preach the word of God as you ought to preach give him utterance give him boldness I pray in the name of Jesus that he may visit your servant in the name of Jesus Christ let your hand be upon him as he comes to minister the word of God let him preach let him, let him preach under the power of the cross the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus through him oh God do miracles through him heal the sick through him deliver the oppressed those oppressed by the devil be with your seven right now as he prepares to come in the name of Jesus and I pray today that because of that power cause us oh God to be eyewitnesses of that power eyewitnesses of the working of God of the miracles of God in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus we call upon you Jehovah that you may visit your servant give your servant of God boldness and utterance I will pray for the mistrials of God but I remember even his, his wife of God as she comes to read the word of God but in the name of Jesus let that word which is going to be read come out of God as a two-edged sword which is sharper than a two-edged sword and I will come before you today we call upon you Jehovah yes in the name of Jesus that you may help your servant of God appear unto him appear unto him appear unto him in the name of Jesus give him the glory and the grace grace to minister grace to minister grace to minister grace to minister and the power of God glory of God and the goodness of God now lift up the thing of God Jesus Christ today is going down to hell and he's going to ascend he said when he gets to hell he's going to make a public show he's going to crush the devil there he's going to kick the devil there and this Jesus we love him because he crushed the devil the singer said we love this Jesus because he 
crush the devil. He is crushing the devil today. He is crushing the devil today. So together with Jesus, we want to crush the devil. That there is no place in the lives of the African event, in our lives in this service. Lift up the finger of God like that. In the name of Jesus Christ, devil, you know your demons. I bind and cast you out. I take control over you. You have no place in this place. In the name of Jesus Christ, every demon of apathy, I take control over you. In the name of Jesus Christ, lack of commitment. I say you are defeated. You have nothing in us. Say you demon. You want to fail the people of God. That they may not see God. I take God over you. In the name of Jesus, I bind and cast you out. I pull you down. Every principality, every power which wants to excel this above God. I take God over you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says, I believe. Therefore, I speak. What we have prayed for, God has heard us. Now we declare, we thank Him for everything. Lift up your hands now. For everything we have asked God, that He has heard us. The Lord who said, Call unto me, I will answer you, show you great and mighty things. Let us lift up our hands to God and begin to thank God. Let we thank God like that. Worshippers, I want you to walk in the program in the name of Jesus. But I want to thank you for hearing us today that you are coming to us. We thank you for your power. We thank you for your glory. We thank you for your working. We thank you for your excellent power which you are going to reveal in this place. We thank you that the devil is defeated. He's defeated. He's defeated. He's getting defeated from today onwards. In the name of Jesus, we give glory and honor unto you. We give praise unto you, Jehovah. Just give a clear offering unto the Lord. Because the devil is defeated. The devil is defeated. Give glory to God. Give a clap offering unto the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just lift your hands and let your spirit sing unto the Lord. Just spirit your lift your hands and speaking tongues. Lift your hands high. Lift your hands high and look to Him and let your spirit sing to Him. Thank Him for what you have prayed for. Thank Him for what He's about to do in your life. Thank Him that He is going to move in this place and that which you have been desiring from the Lord is going to be done as we worship. Oh, Kaya Mandaraba. Thank you, faithful God. Thank you, Lord. Great and mighty King of Israel, the one who sits on the throne, the one who is and is to come. All the Lamb that was slain. Thank you, Jesus, for your God who never fails us. You are a God who is with us. The Lord who is there. The Lord of peace. We thank you, Jesus, and we honor your name. Hallelujah. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Clap your hands unto Jesus. Run around and praise him. Run around and praise him. Run around and praise him with a joyful noise. Hallelujah. 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 We have a Father who will never, ever fail us. Amen. I have a Father who will never, Fail me. I have a father who will never ever fail me. Jesus is my father. He will never ever fail me. Rock of ages, he'll never ever fail. I have a father. I have a father who will never ever fail me. I have a father. I have a father who will never ever fail me. I have a father. I have a father who will never ever fail me. Rock of ages, he'll never ever fail me. I have 
Sucker. Your name is lifted high. You are a God who will never leave nor forsake us. And for that, we are grateful. We are grateful, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank the Lord for what he is doing for the African revival. Amen. Let us just clap our hands and thank the Lord for such a mighty work that he's doing within us. Amen. Hallelujah. So we are going to receive ministration from the Harare Mass Choir. So as we continue to sing this song, Harare Mass Choir, please make your way. After Harare Mass Choir, we have Andrew Chipumo. After Andrew Chipumo, we have Mvuri Youth Choir. So let all these people please come to the right side of the stage. Hallelujah. I didn't know you would favor me this way, oh.
First Corinthians 9 verse 26. So fight I not as one that beateth the air. So you know any and the recent in all over me. We are in the battlefield. We
fighting a war. We are wrestling. We are fighting a war. Shalom, life to you. Hallelujah. So I'm going to minister to a song that is done in Bemba. It says, uh, it means, um, I praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. Because his name is um, supposed to be exalted forever. Hallelujah. Amen. If you can stand with me, you can. If you can dance with me, you can just stand on your feet. Amen. Mi va 
praised. Hallelujah. Let's give a clip offering. He is worthy to be worshipped and to be praised. We give glory to God. Because he is an excellent God. And his steadfast love never ceases. They are new every morning. Just stand up on your feet. Just raise your hands to the Father. And say, Lord, we thank you for your love and kindness which endures forever. That's why today we celebrate the power of the cross. That's why today we declare your goodness. Just lift up your hands and thank him right now. Now. Father, in the name of Jesus, give all the glory, give all the honor. We thank you, Father, for your faithfulness. We thank you, Lord, for your goodness. We thank you, Lord, for your message. We give glory unto your name. Today we declare thou art God. Thou art our Lord. The King of kings and the Lord of lords. There is no one like unto you. We give praise to your name, O oh God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. As we continue, once again, I want to welcome you to our uh, third day of the preaching of the cross convention or the power of the cross convention. I want to welcome you on behalf of our father, apostle and prophet in Rutanashe. Those who are here in the Arai International Conference Center. Welcome to the power of the cross. Just give a clear offering unto the Lord. And also those who are also worshipping with us online. Those who are on our YouTube channel, TV channel. TV channel. And also our Facebook TV channel. You are welcome to the preaching of the cross convention here in Harare International Conference Center with our Father Apostle Andrew Taunashe. I want you to prepare your hearts. I want you to prepare your hearts as we come to this important moment. In African revival, the worldwide family of God all over. God has taught us through his seventh apostle. And before we hear the word of God, we must. Ask God for his grace. But in this dispensation, as we focus on 3622 Ben Bella Road Extension, 3622 according to how God spoke to his seventh apostle, that we are building a Christian nation tabernacle for the family of God church in Lusaka, Zambia. Of the, for the worldwide family of God church. And he gave us an instruction by the spirits of God that in all our service and all our gatherings, our grace offering is targeted, in, targeted to the Christian nation uh, tabernacle. Mupiro wedu wenyasha wakanangana nekutu gozonovaka 
imba yedu yechi Kristu inenge yakapararira pasi rose so it is important that as we give a grace offering zvakakosha kuti patino pampiro yedu wenyasha is not that we are buying god hakusikuti tiri kutenga mamwari because the bible tells us nokuti bible noti udza the lord god is the sun and shield kuti jehova mwari ndiwo zuva nechitaviridzo he will give grace and glory vanozopanyasha nekupinya no good thing hakuna chinhu chakanaka will he will hold from them that walk uprightly shavanga nyima kune avo vanofamba mukururama so whenever you hear about this grace offering saka pose patinonzwa pamusoro pempiro wenyasha even if it is said is for the building of the tabernacle kunyangwe uchitaurwa kuti ndeye kuvaka tabaneke you must give prayerfully and expectantly unofanira kupa uine munamato uye netarisiro huru that lord do not withhold the grace uchiti mwari musanyima nyasha dzenyu nekupiya kwe grace offering nekuti mpiro wako wenyasha is going to be activated that one day you build your own building your own house unenda kunotokonya nekudenura kuti ogogona kuvaka imba yako I want you to take out a grace offering. Ndola kuti utore mpiro wako wenyasha and ask yourself. Was he put? Yes, I give this grace offering. Kuti pandiri kupa mpiro uyu. Which is targeted in building the Christian Nation Tabernacle for the worldwide family of God church in Lusaka Zambia. Uyo wakanangiswa kuti tigonovaka tabanekeri yechikristu kuZambia. What I am giving. Zandiri kupa is it going to add a value to the building of that house zine ukoshere pakuvakwa kweimba iyi is is it going to activate some kind of grace which will enable me to build my own building zvichadenura were nyasha zvichaita kuti nindi gogona kuvakao so i want to do it diligently and quickly Naiso sondola kuti uite neuchangeri nekugasi offering and I want us the singers to come and sing Uto, with us Otora mpiro wako ewoyo vaimbe vachimba pamwe nesu Let's we give this grace offering Tichipa mpiro uyu wenyasha Take out the basket sir Tora ima basket points here, here down here and all, all the terraces there Aenda panjimbo dza anofanira kuwa pasipano kana nekune vari kuzoro participate Tose ngatwane tsibatirana pamwe chete Ndorasira pa Calvary Ndoro wezhivi zvangu Ndorasira pa Calvary Ndoro wezhivi zvangu Ini ndorasira Ndorasira pa Calvary Iwo ndoro Ndoro wezhivi zvangu Ini ndorasira
We've come to a very important time. No, the Bible tells us in the book of Psalm chapter number 138. It was David who said, I worship towards thy holy temple. And praise thy name for thy love and kindness and for thy truth. For thou hast magnified thy word above all thy name. I have mag you have magnified thy word. Above all thy name. The word of God is very important. That's why in this revival, our father the apostle is allocated time for the reading of the word of God. Because in the Bible, if you go to Psalm, Isaiah 55, the Bible says, as the rain come down and snow from heaven and return not hither, but water the earth and bring it forth to bath that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. So shall my word be. That goeth out of my mouth. That it shall not return unto me void. But it shall accomplish that which I please. And prosper in that which I sent it. It sent it. The prosper in, in, in that thing with I sent it. Rigova rinobudiririsa chia chinu. You know, when we listen and hear the word of God, it's not just a way in the family of God church to wind up the service. But the word of God is coming to us. As it is being read. It will begin to do things in your life. Because it is God who is sending that word to us. It is a seed to us. To activate faith. And some can be healed whilst the lady word is being healed. Because the Bible says the Lord sent his word. And, 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 and the word healed them and delivered them from their distresses. So as we listen to the reading of the word of God, uh, let this word begin to act, uh, do something in your life. Uh. Let it get into your spirit. Uh. Let it create faith. Uh. Let it begin to deliver things. Uh. Let it we begin to release that power. We are blessed in the family of God. That God called his maid servant to be a bishop in the African revival. Captain of our young people, of the youth of the worldwide family of God church. And also a suitable help me to our father who is a wife to our father, the apostle. Help Help me to welcome today uh, Bishop uh, Maseko Utaunashe, wife of our father, Prophet El Tutaunashe. Mama Uta, let us welcome her in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 
Let's wave our hands to Jesus. Wave your hands to the Lord of Lords. Just tell him of your love today. Just tell him of your thirst. He says, how amiable are thy tabernacle, O Lord. My soul longs and cries out to thy courts, O Lord. My heart crieth unto the living God. Come on, just tell the Lord, my heart is crying out for you today. It is only you that I want. It is only you that I desire. My soul longs, my soul faints for your courts, O oh Lord, for deeper things, for greater things, for things that I have never known. Come on, just declare right now. It's a declaration that you must make right now. That, the, that declaration will be informed. How pleasant are your tabernacles, Lord. How Friendly are your tabernacles, O Lord. Glorious things are spoken of thee, O house of God. O sanctuary of the Lord. There are great things in this place. I don't want to miss them, Lord. Let none of your people miss the things that are here, Lord. Father, you have orchestrated things for us, things of life and peace and victory, prosperity and abundance and the future, my God. The future is here right now. The future is here right now. The victory is here right now. Right now, how amiable are thy tabernacles, O God? How amiable, how wonderful, how pleasant, how glorious, O God, how amazing, O God. Thank you for your arrangement for us, my God. Thank you for the church, O God, the place of life, O God, the place of refuge, O God, the place of resources and strengthening, the place of discovering ourselves, O God. In this place, we are discovering ourselves, we are discovering the power and the Dynamite that is in each and every one of us. Come on, just declare to the Lord right now how agreeable, how good. Let your consciousness see why you are here. Be conscious why you are here. Be conscious of the house of the Lord. Jacob said, this is the house of the Lord. I did not know it. God is in this place. Oh yes, Lord God, you are in this place, Lord. You are the Lord of the house, Lord. We give you praise, Lord. My soul fainteth, oh God. Long, oh Lord, for your cause, oh dear God. Yes, my heart crieth to you, living God. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh God. Clap your hands to the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to welcome you to this, to this feast of the Lord. We are come to the feast of Passover. And in a feast you eat. In a feast you celebrate. That's why we were celebrating here. In a feast also you take provisions. I believe you are taking provisions to go and use out there as you were in the, in the wars of achievement. From all over the world, I welcome you. I welcome all our archbishops and our bishops that are in the house of the Lord, bishop, ministers and pastors, all God's people that are gathered, and every new person that has come to be with us for the first time today, we welcome you to the house of the Lord. Lord. This is the family of God church, the African revival. Let us take our seats. Starting from the book of Genesis this morning. Genesis chapter 12. Genesis chapter 12. Make sure that you have your Bible. Don't be lazy to open it. The treasures and the wisdom of God are in this word. And God's instruction is that your eyes must look at this word. Your ears also must hear this word. Your heart also must comprehend this word. Meditating and thinking about it as you read it. Now the Lord had said unto Abraham, Get thee out of your country and from your kindred and from your father's house unto a land that I will show you. And I will make of thee a great nation and I will bless thee and make your name great and you shall be a blessing. Now 
And I will bless them that bless thee, and curse him that curseth thee, and in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed. Nizabosi sabaku busisa, kalegi sabaku kalegi sa. Genesis 13. We starting from verse 14. And the Lord said unto Abraham, after that Lord was separated from him, Lift up your eyes and look from the place where thou art, northward and southward and eastward and westward. For all the land which thou seest, to thee will I give it, and to your seed forever. And I will make your seed as the dust of the earth, so that if a man can number the dust of the earth, then shall thou seed also be numbered. Arise, walk through the land in the length of it and in the breadth of it, for I will give it unto thee. Then Abraham removed his tent and came and dwelt in the plain of Mamre, which is in Hebron, and built there an altar unto the Lord. Genesis chapter 26 verse 1 And there was famine in the land besides the first famine that was in the days of Abraham and Isaac went into Abimelech king of the Philistines unto Gerar and the Lord appeared unto him and said, Go not down into Egypt, dwell in the land which I shall tell thee of. So John in this land, and I will be with thee, and I will bless thee, for unto thee and unto your seed I'll give all these countries, and I will perform the oath which I saw unto Abraham your father. And I will make your seed to multiply as the stars of heaven and I will give unto your seed all these countries and in your seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed. Because that Abraham obeyed my voice and kept my charge, my commandments, my statutes, and my laws. Let us jump to verse 17. And Isaac departed thence and pitched his tent in the valley of Gera and dwelt there. And Isaac dug again the wells of water which they had dug in the days of Abraham his father, for the Philistine had stopped them after the death of Abraham, and he called their names after the names by which his father had called them. And Isaac servants dug in the valley and found there a well of springing water. And the headman of Gera did strive with Isaac's headman, saying, the water is ours, and he called the name of the well Essek because they strove with him. And they dug another well and strove for that also, and he called the name of it Sitna. And he removed from thence and dug another well, and for that they strove not. And he called the name of it Rehoboth, 
And he said, for now the Lord has made room for us and we shall be fruitful in the land. And when he went up from thence to Beersheba, and the Lord appeared unto him in the same night and said, I am the God of Abraham, your father, fear not, for I am with thee. I will bless thee. I will multiply your seed for my servant Abraham's sake. Verse 25, and he built an altar there and called upon the name of the Lord and pitched his tent there and Isaac's servants dug a well. Then Abimelech went to him from Gera and Uza, Uzzah, one of his friends, and Picho called the chief captain of his army. And Isaac said unto them, Wherefore come ye to me, seeing you hate me, and have sent me away from you? And they said, We saw certainly that the Lord was with thee, and we said, Let there be now an oath between us and between us and thee, and let us make a covenant with thee. That thou will do us no hurt, as we have not touched thee, and as we have done unto thee nothing but good, and have sent thee away in peace, thou art now the blessed of the Lord. And he made them a feast, and they did eat and drink. And they rose up at times in the morning and saw one to another, and Isaac sent them away, and they departed from him in peace. And it came to pass the same day that Isaac's servants came and told him concerning the well which they had dug, and said unto him, We have found water. And Esau was 40 years old when he took to wife Judith, the daughter of Beri the Hittite, and Bashmath, the daughter of Elon the Hittite. Genesis chapter 28, and we are reading from verse 18. And Jacob rose up in the morning and took the stone that he had put for his pillows and set it up for a pillar and poured oil upon the top of it. And he called the name of that place Bethel, but the name of that city was called Luz at the first. And Jacob vowed a vow saying, If God will be with me and will keep me in this way that I go and will give me bread to eat and raiment to put on. So that I come again to my father's house in peace, then shall the Lord be my God. And the stone which I have set for a pillar shall be God's house, and all that thou shalt give me, I will surely give the tenth unto thee. Deuteronomy chapter 1. Deuteronomy chapter 1 and we are starting from verse 1. Deuteronomy chapter 1 and we are starting
this be the words which Moses spoke unto all Israel on this side Jordan in the wilderness, in the plain over against the Red Sea between Paran and Topel and Laban and Hazaroth and Dizabab. The 11 days journey from Hore by the way of Mount Seir unto Kadesh Barnea. And it came to pass in the 40th year, in the 11th month, on the first day of the month, that Moses spoke unto the children of Israel according to all that the Lord had given him in commandment unto them. Verse 4, after he had slain Sihon, the king of the Amorites, which dwelt in Heshbon and Og, the king of Bashan, which dwelt at Ashatoroth in Adrain. On this side, Jordan, in the land of Moab, became Moses to declare the law, saying, the Lord our God spoke unto us in Horeb, saying, We have dwelt long enough on this mount. Turn you and take your journey and go to the mount of the Amorites and all the places nigh there unto in the plain, in the hills, in the vale, in the south, by the seaside to the land of the Canaanites, unto Lebanon, unto the great river, the river Euphrates. And behold, I have set the land before you go in and possess the land which the Lord saw unto your fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, to give unto them and to their seed after them. Verse 9, And I spoke unto you at that time, saying, I'm not able to bear you myself alone. The Lord your God has multiplied you and behold you are this day as the stars of heaven for multitude. The Lord God of your fathers make you a thousand times so many more as you are and bless you as he has promised you. Verse 12, how can I myself also bear your cumbrance and your burden and your strife? Take you wise men and understanding and known among your tribes and I will make them rulers over you. And you answered me and said, The thing which thou hast spoken is good for us to do. So I took the chief of your tribes, wise men and known, and made them heads over you, captains over thousands, and captains over hundreds, and captains over fifties, and captains over tens and officers among your tribes. And I charged your judges at that time, saying, Hear the causes between your brethren and judge righteously, between every man and his brother and the stranger that is with him. And you shall not respect persons in judgment, but you shall hear the small as well as the great. You shall not be afraid of the face of men, for the judgment is God's, and the cause that is too hard for you, bring it unto me, and I will hear it. 
lingabi lo bandulo kodwa zwani ino mncinyane njengomkhulu lingesabi muntu ngoba ukwahlulela kungokwankulunkulu lethani kimi indaba ezilahlulayo ukuba lizahlule lina and i commanded you at that time all the things which you should do ngase ngilitshela ngililaya ngakho konke okufanele ukuba likwenze we turn to some chapter 68 silande amahubo isahluko samathuma isithupha this word is alive iziliyaphila this word is active au liyanyakaza this word prevails njalo liyanqoba this word creates things in our lives lidala izinto eziquphuka empilweni ze this word judges this word judges the enemy liyahlula izitha lelizwi Psalm 68 from verse 1 Mahuba machuma isithupha nasifica mina mbili ku verse lokuqala Let God arise let his enemies be scattered let them also that hate him flee before him Ulunkulu uvuka ke sihlakazeke izitha zakho abamzondayo babaleke phambi kwakhe A smoke is driven away so drive them away as wax melteth before the fire so let the wicked perish at the presence of God Baphephethe njengentuthu njengabancibilike kokwengcino phambi komlilo ababi kabachithwe phambi komlilo ababi kabachithwe phambi kwaNkulunkulu wa But let the righteous be glad let them rejoice before God yeah let them exceedingly rejoice Kodwa abalungile bajabule bathabe phambi kwaNkulunkulu bathokoze ngokuthokoza okukhulu Sing unto God sing praises to his name extol him that rideth upon the heavens by his name Jah and rejoice before him Hlabelelana uNkulunkulu hlabelelana lidumisa ibizo lakhe lihlabele ingoma kuye ohle eziphezu kwamayezi obizo lakhe uNkulunkulu thokozani phambi kwakhe Father of the fatherless and the judge of the widows is God in his holy habitation Yeah uyise wezintandane lomvikeli wabafelokazi uNkulunkulu endlini yakhe engcwele Verse six, God sets at the solitary in families he bringeth out those which are bound with chains but the rebellious dwell in a dry land Bona kuNkulunkulu nika abahluphekayo indawo yokuhlala ukhuphela izibotshwa ekukhululekeni kodwa abalenkani uyabekela elizweni elomlele Verse seven, O oh God when thou wentest forth before your people when thou didst march through the wilderness sela Kulunku ekuholeni kwakho abantu bakho ekudabuleni kwakho enkangala the earth shook the heavens also dropped at the presence of god even sinai itself was moved at the presence of god the god of israel umhlaba ngokwawo wazamaza amazulu avuza amanzi phambi kwaNkulunkulu we Sinai phambi kwaNkulunkulu ka Israel Thou O God didst send a plentiful rain whereby thou didst confirm thine inheritance when it was weary Walimnisa izulu elikhulu kazi uNkulunkulu walivuselela ilizwe lakho selichithekile Verse 10 thy congregation has dwelt therein thou O God has prepared of your goodness for the poor Abantu bakho bazuza indawo yokuhlala kulo ngobuhle bakhe kuNkulunkulu wabalungisela abaswelayo hayi Bona abesifazana ababesekhaya bayabelana impa The Lord gave the word great was the company of those that published it Lapho inkosi isipha izwi banda abalisakazayo Kings of armies did flee a peace and she that hurried at home divided the spoil Which one? Verse 12 Go verse le chumlambili amakhosi ezimpi abaleka hayi abaleka bona abesifazana abasemakhaya babelana impanga though you have lain among the pots yet shall ye be as the wings of dove covered with silver and her feathers with yellow gold lanqali lala phakathi kwesibaya zezimvu amaphiko ejuba asetshekelwa isiliva lezimpaphe zalo zisitshekelwe ligolide when the almighty scattered kings in it it was white as snow in someone Lapho ngusomandla echitha amakhosi kulo ungqoqwane wawela esalimoni The hill of God is as the hill of Bashan and da, he and high hill as the hill of Bashan Daba nkulu daba yase Bashan daba elezinqonga daba yase Bashan Verse 16 why leap ye ye hill high hills this is the hill which God desires to dwell in yeah the Lord will dwell in it forever 
We nantaba ele ngonga ezne. Ui kangelele ni ngomona intaba kankulunkulu. O tanda ukushala guyo na. Yebo inkosi iza kushala guyo. Kuse gube nini lani. The chariots of God are 20,000, even thousands of angels. The Lord is among them as in Sinai in the holy place. Thou has ascended on high, thou has led captivity captive, thou has received gifts for men, yeah, for the rebellious also, that the Lord God might dwell among them. Wena wakwela pezule ntabe nulandela ngabatu njiweyo. Wamgela is piwo ebantwini yebo la wabale nkani. Inko singu nkulu nkulu iza shala kona. Blessed be the Lord who daily loadeth us with benefits, even the God of our salvation, Sela. Kaibong inko si, es tolele imi tolo yetu insugu ngensu. Nkulu nkulu ungu mkulu liwetu. He that is our God is the God of salvation, and unto God the Lord belongs the issues from death. But God shall wound the head of his enemies, and the hairy scalp of such as, as goeth on still in his transpasses. Verse 22, the Lord said, I will bring again from Bashan. I will bring my people again from the depths of the sea. That thy foot may be dipped in the blood of thine enemies and the tongue of thy dogs in the same. They have seen their goings, O oh God, even the goings of my God, my King in the sanctuary. The singers went before, the players on, of instruments followed after. Among them were the damsels playing with timbrels. And Twenty-six, bless you God in the congregation, even the Lord from the fountain of Israel. There is little Benjamin with their ruler, the princess of Judah and their council, the princess of Zebulun and the princess of Naphtali. Thy God has commanded your strength, strengthen, O God, that which thou hast wrought for us. Because of thy temple at Jerusalem shall kings bring presents unto thee. Use temple in La Cola se Jerusalema, La Pama Cosia Gule Telacona is Pio. Rebuke the company of spearmen, the multitude of bulls with the calves of the people, till everyone submit himself with pieces of silver. Mm. Scatter thou the people that delight in war. Sikuze isilus salem sangeni, ukuze um shambi was kunzi, ganyela mankonyane azo, nicho izizwe, zitobege, zikutke, zigule telesiliva, uba kita kite, abantu abatandu gulwa. Prisons shall come out of Egypt, Ethiopia shall soon stretch out her hands unto God. Yeah, is Kulu Zizagu Zaz Velekipite, Yebo, E Ethiopia, Zizagu Param Serizanda Zazo Gunkulunkulu, Mokupangis. Sing unto God, you kingdoms of the earth, or sing praises unto the Lord Sela. Linambusum Shaba, Shabela Nunkulunkuluami, Lishabele is Bongo, Gunkulunku. To him that rideth upon the heaven of heavens, which were of old law, he doth send out his voice, and that a mighty voice. Guyo inko sekwele pezgu wa mazulu. Eye kona gusugwela endulo. Kangelani. Ia wakalisa ili zilayo. Izi izu wakalise. Lise mazulini. Ascribe ye strength unto God. His excellency is over Israel and his strength is in the clouds. Niganu tu mwakunkulu nkulu. Obu kosi bake. Bu pezgu wa Israeli. Amandake asema ye zini. God, thou art terrible, out of your holy places, the God of Israel is he that giveth strength and power unto his 
Blessed be God. Hallelujah. Just go a little bit backwards to Deuteronomy 3. Deuteronomy 3. Deuteronomy 3. Verse 1, then we turned and went up. There were to Bashan and Og, the king of Bashan, came out against us. He and he, all his people to battle at Adarei. So I said, Penduga is Hambang and Lela e Bashani. Oh, oh, King Gosia se Bashani, Wapu, Magani, Labu, Bonka, Babelai, Basta, Sela, e Etre. And the Lord said unto me, Fear him not, for I will deliver him and all his people and his land unto your hand, and thou shalt do unto him as thou didst unto Sihon, king of the Amorites, which dwelt at Heshbon. And so the Lord our God delivered unto our hands Og also the king of Bashan and all his people and we smote him until none was left to him remaining. And the Lord Verse 4, and we took all cities at that time. There was not a city which we took not from them, three score cities, all of the region of Agob, the kingdom of Og in Basham. And all the cities were fenced with high walls, gates, and bars, besides an old towns, a great many. Verse 6, and we utterly destroyed them as we did unto Sihon, king of Heshbon, utterly destroying the men, women, and the children of every city. But all the cattle and the spoil of the cities we took for a prey to ourselves. And we took at that time out of the hand of the two kings of the Amorites, the land that was on the side Jordan from the river of Amnon unto Mount Hermon. And we Hermon, which Hermon the Sidonians call Seron, and the Amorites call Shen. And all the cities of the plain and all Gilead and all Bashan unto Selka and Adre, cities of the kingdom of Og in Bashan. And for only Og king of Bashan remained of the remnant of giants. Behold, his bedstead was a bedstead of iron. Is it not in Rabbath of the children of Ammon? Nine cubits was the length thereof, and four cubits the breadth of it after the cubit of a man. Ngoba amarefi ayesele kwase kungu Og kuphila. Uyabona umbeda wakha elala kuwo wawungowensimbi usuk usuk usekhona la namhle Araba e Ammon. And this land which we possessed at that time from Arrow, which is by the river Anon, and half Mount Gilead, and the cities thereof, gave I unto the Rubenites and to the Gadites. And the 
And the rest of Gilead and all Bashan, being the kingdom of all, gave I unto the half tribe of Manasseh, all the region of Agob, with all Bashan, which was called the land of giants. Jah, the son of Manasseh, took all the country of Agob unto the coasts of Geshuri and Machat, and called them after his own name, Bashan, Havo, Jer, unto this day. Verse 15, and I gave Gilead unto Mecher, and unto the Rubenites, unto the Gedites, I gave from Gilead even to the river Anon, half the valley, and the border even unto the river Jabok, which is the border of the children of Ammon. The plain also in Jordan and the coast thereof from Chenareth even unto the sea of the plain, even the salt sea under Ashadoth, Pesca eastward. Verse 18, and I commanded you at that time, saying, The Lord your God has given you this land to possess it. You shall pass over armed before your brethren and the children of Israel, all that are meant for the war. But your wives and your little ones and your cattle, for I know that you have much cattle, shall abide in your cities which I have given you. Until the Lord has given rest unto your brethren as well as unto you, and until they also possess the land which the Lord your God has given them beyond Jordan, and then shall you return every man unto his possession which I give you. And I commanded Joshua at that time, saying, Thine eyes have seen all that the Lord your God has done unto these two kings, you. So shall the Lord do unto all the kingdoms whither thou passest. You shall not fear them, for the Lord your God, he shall fight for you. And I besought the Lord at that time, saying, Oh Lord God, thou hast begun to show your servant thy greatness and thy mighty hand for what is there in heaven or in earth that can do according to your works and according to your might. And Verse 25, I pray thee, let me go over and see the good land that is beyond Jordan, that goodly mountain in Lebanon. But the Lord was wroth with me for your sakes and would not hear me. And the Lord said to me, let it suffice thee, speak no more unto me of this matter. Give me up the top of Pisgah and lift up your eyes westward and northward and southward and west eastward and behold it with thine eyes for thou shalt not go over this Jordan. Verse 
But judge Joshua and encourage him and strengthen him, for he shall go over before this people, and he shall cause them to inherit the land which thou shalt see. Onga kwenza, layu Joshua, umkutaze, umkwenise, ngobayena, uzakuwela pambu, wala babantu, abanike ilizwe, eli e, olibona ewe nangamelo, libe ilifa lavo. So we are bored in the valley over against Bath Peor. Sase si shala ages kodini makondana le Bath Peor. We go to the book of Isaiah 54. Isaiah chapter 54. Sing, O Baran, thou that did not bear, break forth into singing and cry aloud, thou that did not travail with child. For more are the children of the desolate than the children of the married wife, saith the Lord. Shabela, we nyumba, kekela utogoze, we na onga uzwangu mhelo, ngobu mfazo chiwe indota, ulabantwa naba nengulaye ole ndota, icho ingos. Enlarge the place of your tent and let them stretch forth the curtains of your habitation. Spare not, lengthen your cords, strengthen your stakes. Kelisa, inda uyomuzi wako, welulega kula maketeni etente lako, udonsega kuli ndambo zalo, ubeteli siise izkongkwane zalo. For thou shalt break forth on the right hand and on the left, and your city shall inherit the Gentiles, and make the desolate cities to be inhabited. Ngobu za kela, utwa linda ozonke, lenzalo yako iza kubusi ndawe banzi, yake futi mizi esi ngamangiwa. Fear not, for thou shalt not be... Ashamed, neither be confounded, for thou shalt not be put to shame, for thou shalt forget the shame of your youth, and thou shalt not remember the reproach of your widowhood anymore. Unge sabi, ngoba gawigu ya nega, unga bile lshoni, ngoba awigu ya giswa, ngobu uza kukosha long kisha zolobu chabako, unga busa kumbula gu ya nega lobu felo gazibako. For thy maker is your husband, the Lord of hosts is his name, and your redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, the God of the whole earth, shall he be called. Ngobu menzu wako nguyum gako, obizwa nguguti nkosia mabanda, lo ngulega Israeli, ungu mshengi wako, obizwa nguguti nkunungulu omshaba wonke. Verse 6, for the Lord has called thee as a woman forsaken and grieved in spirit and a wife of youth when thou wast refused, says the Lord. For a small moment have I forsaken thee, but with great mercies will I gather thee. In a little wrath I hid my face from thee for a moment, but with everlasting kindness will I have mercy on thee, says the Lord your Redeemer. Ola weni la mingi tukutelo lukulu ngagu fula tela owe skachana kota ngotando lunga pelio niya pindanguka ugele ucho inko sumse ngwako. For this is as the waters of Noah unto me, for as I have sown that the waters of Noah should no more go over the earth, so have I sown that I would not be wroth with thee, nor rebuke thee. Ngoba loku, kunje ngensugu nizika Noah gimi, ngoba njongo kuti, ngafu, ngakuba na manzika Noah, kawai kubuya angkwale umshaba, ngoku njalo ngifungile kuti, kangiku kutukutele la njalo ngikusole. Verse 10, for the mountains shall depart and the hills be removed, but my kindness shall not depart from thee, neither shall the covenant of my peace be removed, says the Lord that has mercy on thee. La nga intaba zinga sipulwa, la maka kasuswe, kotu tando lwa molu nga peliu, kalu igu suga guwe, isifumela no sami so kutula, kasi igu suswa, kucho unkulu unkulu, oku kawgela. Thou afflicted, tossed with tempest, and not comforted. Behold, I will lay thy stones with fair colors, and lay thy foundations with sapphires. And I will make your windows of eye gates, windows of eye gates, and thy gates of carbuncle, and all thy borders of pleasant stones. And all thy children shall be taught of the Lord, and great shall be the peace of your children. And righteousness shall thou be established, thou shalt be far from oppression, for thou shalt not fear. 
and from terror for it shall not come near you. Uzakeniswa egudungeni uvigelege egutindezelweni ungesabi uvigelene legoeko sabeni kagula guto olia gusola. Behold, they shall surely gather together, but not by me. Whosoever shall gather together against thee shall fall for your sake. Bona uba betlasela betlasela agume aguveli gimi. Behold, they have surely. Okay, sorry, 16. Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals of the fire, and the, that bringeth forth an instrument for his work, and I have created the waster to destroy. Pela yimi otale umkandi of Tela umlido amala, enze is kali zomsebenzwaki, jalo yimi futi otale um o um o kritayo ugubana krite. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. Isaiah chapter 59 from verse 21 Isaiah uh, from verse 12 sorry Isaiah 59 verse 12 Isaiah 59 verse 12 Isaiah 59 verse 12 verse 12 for our transgressions are multiplied before thee, and our sins testify against us, for our transgressions are with us, and as, as for our iniquities, we know them. In transgressing and lying against the Lord and departing away from our God, speaking oppression and revolt, conceiving and uttering from the heart words of falsehood. And judgment is turned away backward and justice standeth afar off, for truth is fallen in the streets and equity cannot enter. Verse 15, yet truth faileth, and he that departeth from evil maketh himself a prey. And the Lord saw it, and it pleased him that there was no judgment. And he saw that there was no man and wondered that there was no intercessor. Therefore, his arm brought salvation unto him and his righteousness, it sustained him. For he put on righteousness as a breastplate and helmet of salvation upon his head and he put on the garments of virgins for clothing and was clad with zeal as a cloak. Yamba Tugulunga and Jenges Figelos Puba, a Twala in Goane, Yogumo by Candala, Yakoga in Gubo, Zogopindisela, Yasko, Yasko Elang and Tugutelo, Jengengu. Verse 18 And to their deeds, according, he will repair fury to his adversaries, recompense to his enemies, to the islands, he will repay recompense. Is a Pindisela and Jongo Gwenzawabo, Yatisele Ulaga, is Tenizayo, Ipindisele, Guaba, Guabala. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun? When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. And the Redeemer shall come to Zion unto them that turn from transgression in Jacob, saith the Lord. As for me, this is my covenant with them, says the Lord. My spirit that is upon thee and my words which I have put in your mouth shall not depart out of your mouth, nor out of the mouth of your seeds, nor out of the mouth of your seed seeds, says the Lord from henceforth and forevermore. 
Mina loko kuisifu mela no la sami laani icho inko so guti umoya wami engu unige wona la mazu ami engu wafage mdonye ni wako kawai gusuge mdonye ni wako la se mdonye ni wabantu anabako la se mdonye ni wabantu anababantu anabako kusuge la gule si skati guze gube inini la nimi Isaiah 61 Kwa Isaiah ama chuma is tu palanye The spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek. He has set me up to bind up the broken hearted to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to them that are bound. Umoya wenko si unkulunkulu pezu kwa mi ngoba inko si ngobile ubana ngishima ele indabazi nle kubaya nga ingi tumile ukusili sabale nti zwezi tabukuleo numeme zele ukukulula kwa batunji wayo lukufulelo wakwezi pocho entolo ngwe to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all that that mourn. Mememezele umnyago musha wenko silo sugu loku pindisele wa mkulungulu wetu ni tutu ze bonke abalila. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord that he might be glorified. Nige labo abalila ezioni mkele ndaweni omlota la mafuta njabulo ndaweni yogulila indumiso ndaweni omoyo tanileo guze babizo nguguti slata zobukoto ez tanyelewe nko siguba izuze utu. And they shall build the old ways, they shall raise up the former desolations and they shall repair the waste cities, the desolations of many generations. Baza kwa kama ngui wa matala, bafuse indawo, za kutala, ez kutegileo, balungi, semi, zetiligileo, lazo zonki indawo, ez indala, ez kutegileo. And strangers shall stand and feed your flocks, and the sons of the aliens shall be your plowmen and your vendressers. Abe zizwe, baza kwe li usai mithambienu, babe ngabali mibenu, labele... But you shall be named the priests of the Lord. Men shall call you the ministers of our God. You shall eat the riches of the Gentiles, and in their glory shall you boast yourselves. For your shame you shall have double, and for confusion they shall rejoice in their portion. Therefore, in their land they shall possess the double. Everlasting joy shall be unto them. Endaweni yesha zole nu liza wabelua ngoku pindoka bili endaweni yoku tunya zwa we nu liza chabu liza chabu la ngesabelo se nu ngakore elizweni le nu lesabelo espindwe yoku bili libe loku togo zau ngapeli. For I, the Lord, love judgment. I hate robbery for burnt offering, and I will direct their work in truth, and I will make an everlasting covenant with them. Ngoba mi nanko singi tanda ugulu nga logu konda Ngi zonda ugu panga logu ubi Ngi za kuba niga umfuzo wabo Nge kini so ngenze labo isi fumelo ano esi nga peliyo And their seed shall be known among the Gentiles And their offspring amongst the people All that see them shall acknowledge them That they are the seed which the Lord has blessed Bona ge inzalo ya biza kwa ziwa parati kwa mparate zizwe ni Labantu wa nababu baza kwa ziwa ngabantu bonke Ababa bona yo baza fuma Uguti bangabantu inko seba busisle I will greatly rejoice in the Lord My soul shall be joyful in my God For he has clothed me with the garment of salvation He has covered me with the robe of righteousness As a bridegroom decketh himself with ornaments And as a bride adorneth herself with her jewels Niza togo za kakudu ngenko sumpefumlo wami Uza chabula ngunkulu ngulu wami Ngoba inga mbatise ngubo yogukulula Yange mbesa ngubo yogulunga Jongo mieni ekekise ekekise la ngezi kogo zomtimba for as the earth bringeth forth her bud, and as the garden causes the things that are sown in it to spring forth, so the Lord God will cause righteousness and praise to spring forth before all the nations. Matthew chapter 16. Mateo ichumi last two pa. We are reading verse thirteen. Go verse ile ichumi lanta two. Matthew chapter sixteen. Mateo ichumi last two pa. We start from verse thirteen. Sikale go verse ile ichumi lanta two.
When Jesus came to the coasts of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Who do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? And they said, Some say that thou art John the Baptist, some Elias, and others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. But he saith unto them, But who say ye that I am? And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon Bajona, for flesh and blood has not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. And but I say unto thee that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I'll build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth, it shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Then charged he his disciples that they should tell no man that he was Jesus the Christ. From that time forth began Jesus to show his disciples how that he must go into Jerusalem and suffer many things of the elders and the chief priests and scribes and be killed and be raised again the third day. And Matthew and Jesus came and spoke unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. And he said, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. And teach them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the ends of the earth. Amen. And Mark chapter 16 Mark chapter 16 we start from verse 1 Mark chapter and when the Sabbath was passed, Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of James and Salome had brought sweet spices that they might come and anoint him. And very early in the morning, the first day of the week, they came unto the sepulchre and at the rising of the sun. And they said among themselves, who shall roll us away the stone from the door of the sepulchre? And when they looked, they saw that the stone was rolled away, for it was very great. And entering into the sepulchre, they saw a young man sitting on the right side, clothed in a long white garment, and they were affrighted. And he saith unto them, Be not affrighted. You seek Jesus of Nazareth, which was crucified. He is risen. He is not here. Behold the place where they laid him. 
Yati gibo ai linga banga libo mama li tingu Jesus wa se nazare taube betelwe ai ufugi lega kola pa kangela ni na sinda ola pa abebegwe ko. But go your way, tell his disciples and Peter that he goeth before you in Galilee. There shall you see him as he said unto you. Go to Hambani li chela ba fundi ba kega nye lo pita. Uguti uza gulandulela uguye kalile. Li zambona kona njengo kucho kwa kegini. Verse 8. And they went out quickly and fled from the sepulchre. For they trembled and were amazed. Neither said they anything to any man. For they were afraid. Ba puma ba balega elibe ni ngoba. Ba fige lo aigu tutumela lo gumangala. Kapa shongo guru toe muntu ni ngoba. Verse 9. Now when Jesus was risen early. The first day of the week, he appeared first to Mary Madeline, out of whom he had cast seven devils. And she went and told them that he had been with him as they mourned and wept. And they, when they had heard that she was alive and had seen of her, believed not. After that, he appeared in another form unto two of them as they walked and went into the country. And they went and told it unto the rest of you, neither believed they them. Afterward, he appeared unto the eleven as they sat at meat and abraded them with their unbelief and hardness of heart because they believed not them which had seen him after he was risen. And Verse 15, and he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. At this sign shall follow them that believe in my name. They shall cast out devils, they shall speak with new tongues. And they shall take up serpents and they, they shall drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. And they shall recover. Verse 19, soon then after the Lord had spoken unto them, he was received up into heaven and sat on the right hand of God. And they went forth and preached everywhere, the Lord working with them and confirming the word with signs following, Amen. The gospel according to John Chapter 20. Chapter 20 of John and verse 19. Then the selfsame day at evening, being the first day of the week, when the doors were shut, where the disciples were assembled for fear of the Jews, came Jesus and stood in the midst and said unto them, Peace be unto you. And Turn to your neighbor and just bless them and say, Peace be unto you. And when he had said so, he showed unto them his hands and his side. Then were the disciples glad when they saw the Lord. And say Jesus to them again, peace be unto you. As my father has sent me, even so send I you. 
Ujesu wabuya futi watikibo ukutula gini. Jengo bubaba engi tumile. Lami yali tuma. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said unto them, Receive ye the Holy Ghost. Kwa tese chola o mazwi wa pepeta pezu kwa bo wati ya mgelani umongwe. Whosoever since you remit, they are remitted unto them. And whosoever since you will retain, they are retained. Labo eliba tetelela izono zitetelo elwe. Labo izono zabo elizbambayo zibanjiwe. Amen. Amen. Let's stand up on our feet. Sime ngenyawo. Let's stand like soldiers. The city Lord, Jenga Masoj. Hallelujah. Amen. I want us to cry to the Lord. The word of God says, then it says, then Jesus opened they, their understanding that they may understand the scriptures. Lift up your hands and just tell Jesus open my understanding today that I may understand the scriptures. There is an understanding that is for today and it is Jesus who opened the disciples to understand it and they understood. Father, I want to understand. Father, we want to understand. Give us understanding, my Father. Open up our understanding, O Lord. The eyes of our understanding be Enlightened that we may know the hope of our calling, Lord. That we may know the exceeding greatness of your power towards us who believe, O oh Lord. Give us understanding of your greatness, O oh Lord, of the mystery, yes, of godliness, of the hidden wisdom, O oh God, of the death and the burial of Christ and his resurrection, O oh my God. Give us to understand, O oh Lord, what we ought to do, my Father. Yes, O oh God, the enforcements of that power upon our lives, O oh God. Give us to understand, O oh Lord. We bind every spirit of deception, every hindering spirit, every blindness. I cast you out in the name of Jesus Christ. The light prevails in this place. There is light in our understanding. There is enlightenment in the name of Jesus that we may know, that we may be sure people, that we may move forward, that we may do exploits. Yes, because the people that know where they are God, they shall be strong and they shall do exploits. Father, we receive from you, Lord, the understanding of your word, O oh God, even as your servant speaks, O oh God, let there be an anointing, Lord, the power to command, the power to declare, the power to drive out the things that must be driven in his mouth, Heavenly Father, the word of power, my God, let it be released, O oh my God, let every demon, O oh my God, hear that word of power, yes, in the name of Jesus, because they were defeated down there, in the grave of Jesus Christ. You spirits, you were defeated in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, heavenly Father. Come on, let's just shout Jesus. 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 Ah, that's a powerful name. Hallelujah. Today we are celebrating this day where it's like it was silent. But the demons, they were in trouble. They were in trouble because Jesus was going under them to defeat them, to deal with each and every one of them. Every headquarter of the devil was in trouble. Can we just make a joyful shout to the Lord for that? Hallelujah! 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 Hallelujah. Come, let us sing unto the Lord. He is the Amen. Jesus is the Amen. Jesus is the resurrection and the life. All power is given unto him. Raise up your hands to Jesus, the conqueror of evil spirits. He conquered them in, in the graves. He went into hell and he, 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 he assembled them. He made them. He triumphed over them. Raise up your hands. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, Oh hallelujah. hallelujah. Oh hallelujah. hallelujah. Blessed be God. Blessed, Blessed be our Lord. Blessed, Blessed be the King of Kings. Blessed be him who lives. Blessed be him who defeated grave. Blessed be him who defeated hell. Hallowed be thy name, Jesus. Hallowed be your name, O Lord. All power is given unto you. You are risen, Lord God. Yes, you are risen. You are powerful. You are of might and you are of power. 
I sing of my Redeemer. I sing of him. I will sing of my Redeemer. I will sing. Hallelujah. I will sing of my reading of the Christ who died for me on the cross. He paid my penalty by his blood. He made me free. Bishop Matonga. Just lift up your hands. Simuza Mogago. Just lift him up on her. Simuza Simuza Soro Soro. He is our redeemer. Dear Mutikinuedu, he is in this place. Ari Muno. You can feel him right now. You can feel him right now. I can feel him right now. I can feel him right now. I can feel him right now. Jesus, Jesus is already here. What all you have to do is to open your heart. For he is already here. Father, we thank you that you are in our midst right now. Now we are ready, O God, to receive from you. Faithful and awesome God, be thou lifted up on high. Be thou lifted up on high. Have your play, have a place, oh God. In our hearts, as we hear your word. 
chokorenyu as we hear the voice of your servant father we thank you baba tokutendai we give all the glory tokupaibiri yose we give all the honor tokupaikudzo let's give a clap offering unto the lord chipo chokombera kuna ishe let's give glory to god tipembiri kuna mwari he is he uri pano imanyuwa mwari unesu imanwe he is with us unesu He is also with his servant. We are privileged in the African revival. We have a servant of God. I have known this father. For the past 43 years. I heard him. preaching the word of God. Which changed me. It made me who I am today. From the time when I was a small boy. When I was a critical man. Who would analyze every sermon which he would preach. And one day. I had an encounter with God. When I was criticizing his word. In my spirit. And I thought it was. As me I thought it was him it was not god speaking to him but i learned my lesson when the devil himself came to my room trying to strangle and to kill me because i was saying in my spirit what this man is preaching is fables ingano it doesn't work in this life when he was preaching about the power of the blood of jesus christ but it was that moment when i spoke the word you and which he was instructing us to speak when he said in that service we overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of our testimony which is the declarations of the power of Jesus Christ I managed to overcome the devil he helped me this man of God is not an ordinary man he is a man like in the days of numbers when the people of Israel they were fighting against Moses they didn't want to believe him and he said hear my words is there a prophet among you it was God who was speaking to the children of Israel and I want to say to you African and the nations of the world is there a prophet among you is the Lord said I will make myself known unto him in a vision and you will speak unto to him in a dream. He was talking about Moses. But in our days, God is speaking about prophet Andrew Taunashe. He said, my servant Andrew Taunashe, is it not so who is faithful in all my house? And then with him, I will speak to you. I will speak mouth to mouth. And apparently not in dark speeches. And not in similitude the and shall he be hold wherefore then they were all not afraid to speak against Moses please do not be afraid to speak about the servant of God Deuteronomy 18.15 says the Lord thy God will raise up unto thee a prophet in the midst of thee in the midst of thy brethren like unto me and unto him shall you hearken. And I want to say to you today, the Lord has raised a prophet among us. The Lord has raised a prophet among us. And God is saying, his prophet, or prophet, obey him. And he shall raise you up. His prophet, or 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 
answer. In the book of John, he said, John not, they said unto him, What shall we do to do the works of the Lord? He said, Believe in him whom I have sent. Second Chronicles 2020 20, says, 20, says, When they gather together, like we are gathered here, in the international conference center, and in the morning like this, this afternoon like this, Joseph had stood up there and said, Here he is. I stand here like a Joseph. I stand here like a Joseph. I stand here like a Joseph. I stand here like a Here you, family of God, church. Here you, Zimbabwe. Believe in the Lord your God. So shall you be saved. Believe he saved the prophet. Shall you prosper. Today, you are in the prophet. We have a servant of God, anointed by God, called in the land of Africa, in the soil of Zimbabwe. Help me today, as we welcome the founder and the overseer of the worldwide family of God church, the African revival, apostle, the prophet, Andrew Utaunashe. Let us welcome you. Utaunashe. Tiwachinga Mize. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, that was Bishop Majonga. I went to Bishop Majonga. Being arrived at. Say hallelujah. Say hallelujah. It's so, such a blessing to have zeal for the house of God and passion for the things of God. And that's the way I've always known our bishop from Leeds. Somebody say hallelujah. There's a man of passion and zeal for the house of God. Somebody say hallelujah. Say thank you, Jesus. Mm, hallelujah. It's just good always to be remembered because of the fire you have for the Lord. To be known for it. And you know, if you come like Joseph, you will even get blamed for it. Hallelujah. Praise God. It's not showing off. It is the presence of God. Come on, let's clap our hands for the bishop. Say hallelujah. Where is my wife? Are you there somewhere? Did we practice I will sing of my redeemer? Do you know if we did? We did. We did. Amen. So we're going to have to ask the Tabernacle Choir, right? Pastor Ken Fuma and the choir. All the way from Bako. The choir, Yabako Sekubako. Let's just come up. We are going to And let's sing of the Redeemer. Come on, move. Let's do it with passion also. Let's do it with passion. Come on, move. Move the same way. Come on, let's see some passion. They move. Let's see some passion. Let's see some passion. Let's see some, let's see some passion. Hey, let's see some smiles. Don't look like people who are coming to a funeral. Let's see some joy. Let's clap hands for the choir. Say hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. They're going to sing this song with us. And then we're going to sing it together. 
Let's all say, sing or oh sing. Of my Redeemer. With his blood, he purchased me. On the cross, he sealed my pardon. He paid the debt. And made me free. I'm just going to show Imbaneni. Imbaneni. Pamsor from the Kinuang. Imbaneni. Jaisha Cheso. Wakaripa Makatango. Wakandi Zikinura. Pamchinchiqua. Europa. Say hallelujah. These people were in Baku. And they loved Baku so much that they were there when I was not there. They ate our food until I called a fast. <laughs> Somebody said, Hallelujah. No, but they came to serve the Lord with gladness. And just get ready to worship the Lord. They just got ready to worship the Lord in this convention. Say hallelujah. My only case here is the indictment. Now it has no legal language this boy. It is the indictment. It's the indictment. It's the indictment. Of the men of the African revival. The men, the men. Africa. But Murume told him the The men of the African revival. The young men. The fathers. Who are giving an example to the boys. Somebody say hallelujah. And these days, whenever I see a worship team of the African revival, I said, when I see, when I see, stay with me, when I see, the there's something screaming that the hearts of men in the revival are growing cold. Because when you go to that Old Testament, to the type and to the foundation of it all of worship in the temple in the house of Solomon temple of Solomon where they would worship they would say come let's say together let's say for his good for his mercy endure forever and they would play with trumpets. They would sing. They would chant. And they would dance. And the worship team would be 120. It would be, it would be. We are talking when I was preparing the past. Not one was a woman. Does it look like this? It looks like this. Now I know in Christ there's neither male nor female. Don't misunderstand this. This is not a message to the women. You are doing well. Just like your mother who was the first lady of evangelism, Mary, Maria, who waited for the reality of the resurrection. While two disciples were running away. I don't know, perhaps that's what is happening. <laughs> Can I hear the men of this revival say, for he is good, for his mercy, Enjoy it forever. I want to say this in this convention. 
they want every pastor and bishop and archbishop, every man, every elder to hear me carefully. When we gather together again, I want you to make sure that the worship teams, the choirs, and everything called worship in population is a three two in favor of men. Did you hear what I said? The men of folk. They are now like drunkards. The village drunkard. They don't go to church. They tell the women, go and pray for us while they are seated at the beer uh, place. That's what you are doing. See, one of the cases of the Jew, the cases, are you, are, you, are you awake? Are you half asleep today? Or you are also feeling guilty? One of the cases is a woman shall rule over them. You, when it is like this, I don't care who you think you are. Or you wear trousers instead of a dress. Women are ruling over you. That's what's happening in this revival. You are being ruled by women. When this revival is being presented before God, the women are arriving first. That's what is happening. And God is saying, and the angel says, we are a family of God. The family of God has come. And God looks. Says, is it the church or is it the women's fellowship? Because of the likes of Jimmy, who can sing, but they don't join choirs. The best singers like Finch, who don't get into the choirs. And those who used to worship before, but we no longer see them. And the little children look, they say in church, the men do not worship. They don't lead that. We we'll just follow also. Chorus of Exodus 15. The chorus of Exodus 15. It was begun by Moses. Moses who started it. Miriam Miriam then danced. Moses When Moses had already started the song. It begins with a, a, a deep voice. I will sing unto the Lord for he has triumphed gloriously. The horse and rider has thrown into the sea. That's how we started. By the men. How many of you men have heard what I said here today? I am not a man of the now, now go and play with that word. It will bring evil upon you. But if you go and handle it well, you will prosper. I saw someone in Cameroon. A folk businessman, I hope he came to the convention. Didn't have money. Yet being a businessman. Not even a thousand puller. 
And God told me, tell him that if he joins the worship team, he will prosper. God told me very, very clearly. He told, I don't even know whether that man knows how to sing. But God told me, he tell him if he gets into the worship team, he will prosper. And I remember that Jijuong Fog, many of the fog men money is eluding you and you're wondering why this is the case you deserted the altar I don't know who taught you that people get offended with the prophet he doesn't just get straight to the sermon he arrives there and starts singing he starts worshipping. I thought I would have some men who would imitate me. Anyway, it's not Pastor Ken Pastor Ken and Despire here, clap hands for them. Amen. See, Pastor Ken. Pastor Ken. It's good. That you, you kept some beard. So you put me there, Papa. Was where you are standing there. I don't know if you are going to go. I can't see my trousers. For wondering who is this one wearing a pair of trousers among the women. <laughs> Somebody say hallelujah. And do not worry, we say. I want all the men. Let's raise our hands. To tend the work and repent. All the women, look at the men praying with your eyes open. Come on, if you are a man, I'm serious. Raise your hands. Tell God that we repent today concerning this altar of worship that we deserted we are the sons of Asaf. We are the Davids. We are the ones you called and anointed first. We are the ones who made disciples, oh Jesus. Yes, we are the ones. So we repent, Lord, that we deserted the altar. Yet you are looking at us as the men, expecting us to lead. And we lead Mr. in the name of Jesus. Now, no good say. now I tell you, repent. It's not ending with the choir. If you look carefully, when you are going to the churches now, these days even the interpreters are women. The house group leaders are women. What just goes deeper in the spirit, it becomes a woman leading. But the men themselves, when we get now at home, be under me, submit to me, oh woman. But the way you are doing it, you men, you husbands, in the spirit, you are under the women right now. You are not leaders. You want to go and find the rule in the houses. If it does not become first in the house of God, that you are the leaders. Somebody say hallelujah. You will never know true leadership in your lives. Somebody say hallelujah. And you see, the reason why these women are happy when I talk like this is because a woman was created to feel safe, fulfilled, and legitimate when a man is standing in his place. Hallelujah. Did you hear what I say here today? You don't understand these fathers and mothers. 
You don't answer these fathers. You are bringing insecurity to this church. You are removing spiritual cover from this church. The family is supposed to be covered by the spirituality of your father. And that's why also the church must be covered by the spirituality of the fathers. I also believe that is the reason God gave you an apostle. Not an apostolina. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let men be men. Children, Jojo. Prayer meeting 90% of our cards. Choir 90% of our cards. House group 90% of our cards. Leadership 90% of our cards. Leadership 90% of women. Anyway, we are going to sing about the Redeemer. Let's give the Tabernacle Choir a big, big hand clap.
So you also will sing. Can you say I will sing? Alright. But the song itself is an exhortation. You are telling others. You are exhorting the congregation. Let us sing of our Redeemer. Come on church, turn to your neighbor. Come on, shake their hand, look in their eyes. Come on, tell them welcome. The 2024 preaching of the cross from the African revival. Tell them we are celebrating the power of the cross. Come on, shake them and say for a few moments. Sing, oh sing, of my Redeemer. Pulpit. Come on, say with his blood, he purchased me. He purchased you. Tinero parake. Wakatenga ini. Wakatenga iwe. Come on. Say on the cross. He sealed my pardon. He sealed your pardon. Tipa mchinji kwa. Aka simbi sakure gerirwa kwa ko. Come on, say, he paid the debt and made me free and made you free. If you celebrate that, can you clap your hands and I hope you can rejoice here in this choir and you can rejoice in this congregation and we can see a real smile and a real celebration of redemption. Come on, let me see some joy. Sing, oh sing of my Redeemer. Everybody, with his blood, sing it to me, come on. He purchased me on the cross. He sealed my pardon. He 
as many as few as can sing the soprano part together with me. And then there's that part where they respond. Is the tenors and the altos. Sing, oh sing, sing, oh sing. Okay. But you must also sing that first part. I need some support. Let's go. Sing, oh sing, of my redeemer. Of my redeemer. With his blood. Just me. I want to hear the soprano sing with me. On the cross, he sealed my pardon. I paid the debt. Everybody come on I Sing, oh, sing of my redeemer, of my redeemer, of my redeemer. With his blood, he purchased me, he purchased me. On the cross, he sealed my power. Oh, the cross, he sealed my 
life and health and well-being, spirit, soul, and the body, and clothe you with a new unction for the altars of the worship of the Most High. In the name of the Lord Jesus, come on, let's clap our hands. Let's shout again to the Lord. Say hallelujah. Say hallelujah. I wish Mrs. Zenga was around. Is she around? Yeah. I think it's a good time to sing. Muchele. I think it's a good time to sing that. And I think it's a good time for some dancers to come. Maybe we might see a few men this time. Muchele. That's not the song, it's just me clowning. Let's give him Mrs. Stegea. Where are all those young men I see dancing on the picture? Where are they? Come and dance, come and dance. Even if you saw the dance and you think you can dance too. And I wish I could see some young men come and dance. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Anyone else welcome here? Get to you. Come on up. 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 Come on Wakaita semi muri muchele makatendeka hakuna mumwe wakaita semi you are holy you are faithful there's none other guy can do you Lord. you are holy you are faithful there's none other guy can do you come on up muchele chikari rocha Come on up. 
ticket dancers and everything amen if you are singing with someone and they are the leader they go out first not you <laughs> okay <laughs> come back come back come 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 back come back it's a good time to just <clears throat> Bless the Lord. I mean, I would like to bless the Lord with an offering today. I, mean, I just want to give to the Lord. Somebody say hallelujah. Praise God. And I'll, we'll have Mrs. Zenga sing one more song. What's that one you sang at camp? For the... All right. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Aha. Ask na matwembe manyawi. If you say she sings manyawi. Tutakuona offering na manyawi. <laughs> Want to say a big offering with manyawi? Munoko na kupa offering na manyawi here. Munoko na ukuti ndino zvikona. Zvokupa kuna Jehova. I hope to say I can do it this thing of giving to the Lord. Come on, let's put an offer again in our hands. And we got some good paper, American dollar, pound, rand, some good heavy money. Some of you are seeing on the screens where numbers of phones, numbers of bank accounts. Just time to worship the Lord and honor and, and, and celebrate him for this power of the cross by what we also can do 
The song Mrs. Zenga is about to sing is so appropriate that you can also say to the Lord what you told us to do for you we also can do it. As you are able to save us as you are able to heal us as you are able to do miracles things we can't do ourselves but we also are able to give to offer unto you to support your work in a manner that is full. Put an offering in your hand in the name of Jesus. The baskets should be in place by now. In the islands, come and wave the basket so people can see where to come. There's no one here. But everybody must go to the offering basket. And don't run here to dance before you pass by the basket. If you are going to give to dance here, the offering is first. Somebody say hallelujah. Lift up your offering to the Lord. Stretch out your hand to the apostle. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we thank you that you did for us what we are unable to do for ourselves. When we are yet without strength, in due time, you died for us. We couldn't do it. We couldn't pay for our own sins. We needed the blood without blemish. Our blood was guilty. But you paid for us. You were able to do it. We thank you, Father. That's why today we give all heart and Because we know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Though he was rich in heaven, Yet for our sakes, he became poor that we through his love might become rich. Therefore, Lord, as we said, we could do it to give you and to support your house. You said we are the ones who could do it. This issue of supporting your house and giving, we want to give to you today. Father, bless everyone who stretch for their hand to it. That grace might abound towards them. That they might be able to abound. That is the city of Corinthians. That they might abound in their issues of economy. I speak in the name of Jesus. That you heard it and you know it. The verdict was given the universe. of the whole universe. That it was declared. They were declared. They were declared by the great judge that they are prosperous. And it was declared with power. There is a force that enforces it. So get your hands off their wealth. I dismantle this power with our giving in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me hear a shout of Amen right now. Shout and say Amen. Come on, as she sings one more time, let's come and go found to the Lord. Amen. The musicians, do you have the song? I told you. Come on up. Ah! Don't have a joy. Why is that offering we are torn? What's up? 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 Canadina <laughs> Just send us 
awesome, awesome. Nos 
One more time, dance the song. Declared to be a worshiper and a dancer with power. Ah, father, Through the enforcement of the cross. Let's clap our hands. That was Anna Zengea. With the homegrown worship. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say thank you, Jesus. I want to ask all our bishops. Come and stand around these steps. Facing different directions. Towards the people of God. And I want every of you to stand. In God's presence. Let's raise our hands a few moments. Everyone who can pray in the spirit. Just speak in other tongues. Now if you want to raise your hands. Raise them. If they are too heavy. Keep them down. But if you think you can make that sacrifice. Remembering that there was one who raised them. Remembering there was one who raised them with the nails stuck in them and did not let his hands go down so that you may be saved. It's a little thing for you also. Just leave them in worship to him. Oh, come on, clap your hands to the Lord right You know, just bow your head a little bit and listen to me. The reason we were gathered here by the Lord, and he told me the short word you must preach and teach to my people, is based on a simple expression to teach them to declare among them shout it with me say the power of the cross the power of the cross 
And today I can just say I'm doing what is taken straight out of the word of God. I did not come to preach anything else to you but to preach Christ crucified. Christ crucified. Christ crucified. Christ crucified. And it is written by in the word of God by the Holy Ghost to those who are called this Christ who is crucified he is the power of God and the wisdom of God. I want you to understand the necessity of power comes because there is weakness that there are things you have an, an ability to lift to do or to perform. And that disability, the worst part is that it is involuntary. It was not something we said we want it. But God had created you and me to simply worship him be righteous, be ruled by him and follow his ways. Enjoy him, not know any sort of trouble, not know poverty or sickness, oppression or death, not even death, not know what is quarreling with each other or robbing each other or raping or things of lust. Yes, so he didn't want us to be in these things. Don't know what it is to get your heart broken. He didn't want us to experience all those things. He didn't want you to think uh, I'd rather die or commit suicide. He didn't want you to be bewitched or to have evil spirits dreams at night of things that are coming from things that are scratching you or abusing you. He didn't want you to be mad. He didn't want you to be depressed or fearful. But what happened is one our father Adam and our mother Eve through whom God had given us, given us these things of goodness of righteousness of happiness of sureness and of guarantee to live with him forever they turned against him they began to obey the snake Satan the enemy of God and disobeyed what God has said and from that day the nature of God inside us which experiences only good and only blessing and only righteousness and that nature of God inside us which also hears and feels God it was killed it is called your spirit. But God said, though Satan has destroyed it in them and made them helpless people who are not wanting to sin yet they sin. You are not wanting to be drunkards yet they are drunkards. You are not we say, though they don't want to be uh, fornicators, but they still fornicate. They are sleeping with boys that are not their husbands and girls that are not their wives. They are behaving like dogs on the earth. Though they don't want to take drugs, to smoke drugs, but they are smoking anyway, even though it makes them mad because of helplessness. That's why he said, Teach them this weekend about the power of the cross. There is a power that sets you free and that empowers you to do righteous things. 
that you desire to do, the pleasing God that you want to do, there is a power also available to help you that the good things that you desire of blessing, that you desire to happen to you, might happen to you. The sickness that you have might be healed. The trouble you are having with evil spirits might be healed. The nightmares that you have, you might have peace. There is a power like that. God said, you, Satan. You removed power from my children. I now come. And I transform myself to be a person among them. To be a blameless one among them. And then I go to the cross. And be killed yet without guilt. And my blood be shed. And I be beaten and have a thousand years But when I'm being beaten, I will be carrying their sicknesses so that they be healed. When I wear the crown of thorns, I'll be doing it for their poverty. That they might not have a thorns, but they might have a wealth. When I'm nailed to that cross, there is a work being done in the spirit. That is my blood is being shed. I'm paying for their transgressions and buying them that they might be acceptable again to God the Father. God transformed himself to be a person that he might pay for our sins. And the father said, when you have done so, power will be released. Power will be released. That will set free anyone who is willing. Those who have sins, they will be forgiven. And heaven will be opened for them. Because of your blood. The sick one will be healed. Because of the beating upon you. Those who by evil spirits will be delivered. Because of the blood you have bought them with. Him God. Who is the same God three in one? The Son, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. He's the one who came and died on the cross. That this power I have described might be released to help you without strength. That's why you hear even heroes like Paul who became heroes of making God known to people. They said I once lived with the law which I did not love. That the evil that I did not want to do I would find myself doing the good that I want to do the one that I failed to do because of the body of weakness which I was given by the evil one who deliver me from this body of death which wants to take me to hell this body of weakness said thanks be to God in Christ Jesus the power he released on the cross I am forgiven I am washed from my sins and he also died for me he did not remain dead, he rose from the dead. He comes into my life with his power. He transforms me. He gives me power to be called a child of God. Because it is he himself who says, all who received me, I will give them power which comes from what I want for them on the cross that they might become the children of God. They might become the children of God. That they live inside their hearts, in their spirits. That they might be alive again. That they might feel God. That they might hear God. That they might receive peace. And the power of liberation. That they might have power. Because when we are yet without strength, in due time, Christ, died for the ungodly. For God demonstrates his love towards us. That Christ died for us. When we are yet sinners. So this afternoon, I want to pray.
Because that is what he said. And when I have said it this way, and in your heart you say no, I am the one who is also saying, I don't have strength, but, but I want to live. I want righteousness. I want to get into heaven. I want to live in a life that pleases God. I don't have power. But I want to have health. I want to have freedom and prosperity. I don't have power. I'm, I'm failing because of weakness. But I want to know God. Jesus said, If you believe that I'm the one who died for you, and I rose from the dead, if you open your heart for me, I will give you power of forgiveness of transformation I love 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17 when a man is in Christ he is a new creation all things are passed away Behold, all things are new bow your heads before the Lord now how many of you are in this house? You are hearing me? You are saying prophet. Pray for me. I also want this power. That, that makes a person become a child of God. To know God inside of themselves. And overcome weakness. Who makes them walk in the evil things. And that they might know with all their hearts. I also want to know that I'm not walking alone. I'm walking with Christ. I'm not going to hell. I'm going to heaven. I also want this power that sets me free from all oppression. I want this power of the cross of Christ. I want it to work also in my life that I might know God that I might be be set free that I might be delivered from the body of weakness. How many of you want that? I want a weakness to go away through the power of the cross. I want this weakness to be taken away through the power of the cross. Raise your hand high high. In the name of Jesus. Some of you up there in the stands. Raise your hand. I'm seeing you. Some of you are here on the floor. Raise your hand. I'm seeing you. You're saying I also want it. I want this power. I want to know God. I want to come out of here. I don't want to be in the world. 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 Be inside me. I want Jesus in my Let's heart. Let's keep raising our hands. Because we want to pray for you. Now, raising your hand like that. Some of you are very far in the terrace. But we have the time. Those that are close to them. Keep their spaces for them. That they might come back to their seats. Again. I want you to come from up there. And come down here. And stand here near me in the front. Here we are. Those who are on the ground. You want this power. I want you to move. And come in front here. I want to pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. Come on. Let's come. 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 I said let's come. Let's come. Let's come. It is written. Behold now. Is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. Now as you hear the voice of God, do not harden your heart. This is why you came to the Sheraton today, that you may receive life. Burdens are lifted at Calvary. I want you to come, I want you to come. Just walk here to the front. I heard someone clapping, don't do it half-heartedly. Do it with all your heart. If you want this salvation, you want this touch of God. Walk from wherever you are. You want this healing. You want this deliverance. I want you to walk from wherever you are. And I want you to come here to the front. We are waiting for you. As you come down into those stands. From those stands. Do not lose your soul. Because you are just lazy to walk. Do not lose your soul. 
because we're just shy to walk. There is a day when only this moment is going to matter. This moment when you had a chance to offer your life to Jesus Christ. And as you've done it, you are going to be very thankful one day. When others are being sent to the fire, but you are being told, enter into the joy of your Lord. Good and faithful servant. Come on, let's clap for those who are coming because they are still coming. 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 In the name of the Lord Jesus. Come on, clap your hands for them because they are still coming. Come to the Lord. Come to the Lord. So what do we have? Surely come to the Lord. I said, come to the Lord. 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 I'm hearing someone. He's saying it's too late. It's not too late. Famba. If I walk in, come Famba. Even if you're up there, just come. We are waiting for you. We are waiting for you. Oh, the Akahara Baba Basaya. Uruazaya komora hari abasanda Soro Tomari Asanda Satan I bind you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and you darkening spirits which are trying to keep you from salvation I enforce in the name of Jesus Christ the power of the cross upon you and I cast you out and I said depart from their lives this atmosphere get out of it in the name of Jesus it is loose so that in this atmosphere they may find Jesus. I'm waiting in the name of the Lord Jesus. Any spirit, any embarrassment that is hindering you, I've cast it out in the name of Jesus. Any deception which is hindering you, cast it out in the name of Jesus. I've cast it out in the name of Jesus. The way is open. Do not be afraid. I want you to walk here to the front. This is your moment. This is your day and your time of salvation. Behold now is the accepted time. He said, I've heard you in a time that is appointed. And in the day of salvation did I succor you. Behold now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. Behold, now is the day of salvation. Now as you hear his voice, do not harden your heart. This is your day to be free from those drugs, from that addiction that has destroyed your life. There is a power are here today to set you free. Some of you that are hearing me are not in this room. But the way you are in your house, by your television, by your phone, in your car, gathered with others or alone, he is there. What is matter is, is, what matters is his word. It is written, he sent his word and healed them, delivered them from their distress. I want you to come, I want you to come, I want you to come. With a decision in your heart, I'm turning away from sin and from Satan and from this weakness. I've come for the power that gives me power to become righteous. It's the power of the cross that bought me and disabled Satan in my life. And I'm inviting myself Savior, my only Savior Jesus, to come into my life, to forgive me, to change me, and to give me power to be made a child of God. Let's clap once more for those that are still coming because they are still coming. Let's clap for those that are still coming for they are still coming. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Now as you stand here, lift up your hands and the bishop stretch out your hands towards these that are lifting up their hands. And every child of God in this auditorium cast your hands towards these people. Let's see, give a great wave of grace
days. Masai Sayenyasha. Come down upon these people. As everyone prays for them. But you that are standing here. It is written, whoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Lift also your own hands as a sign of surrender to God. And close your eyes and with your own mouth declare that from today you don't want to be a sinner. Anyone who wants to be a person who follows Satan in weakness. Turn, I'm turning away from my sins, Father. And Jesus, I believe it when you died on the cross, you died for me. That I may be set free from the power of the devil and forgiven. Tell him, come into my heart. Forgive my sins today. Give me power to overcome every sin and every weakness in the name of Jesus. Loose me from every oppression right now. And come into my heart and forgive my sins. Come on, now speak like that yourself. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Father, as they cry out, I pray that you may move by your spirit and give them salvation and wash them with the blood of the cross. In the name of the Lord Jesus, you that are calling unto him, I say to you, your sins be forgiven you. I command it in the name of Jesus that your life be saved and that your spirit come alive and that weakness be defeated and overcome by the power of the cross. Receive your forgiveness. And Satan, I bind you and I command you in the name of Jesus. Come out of those lives. Every oppression and bondage. Depart. Demons of satanic covenants. I break your yoke in the name of Jesus. Demons of false worship, I cast you out. Spiritism, I cast you out in the name of Jesus. Spirits of deception, I cast you out. And every spirit of perversion that has spoiled and damaged these people, I reverse and disable your power in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I command every spiritual trauma be reversed and be healed in the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus, you things of addiction, I command in the name of the Lord Jesus, get out of their system. I command that that chemistry be reversed in the name of the Lord Jesus. That has addicted them to substances and to drugs and to tobacco and to alcohol. I break your bondage in the name of Jesus. No demons of witchcraft, I cast you out. Demons of familiar spirits which is sitting people. I command you, get out in Jesus' name. There's only room in them for Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I can force the power of the cross upon every life hearing me and standing before me. And I say your sins be forgiven you. In the name of Jesus I remit your sins. And I say be born again and be made a child of God. Come on, put your left hand on your heart. Lift up your right hand to God. I want to help you to pray accurately. To make your personal invitation to Jesus Christ. My interpreter puts it in short now. Pray it in a prayer you, in a language you understand. But let's wait for him so that others can understand. All over this room, let's also do the same thing to support them. Let our voices thunder this prayer. Your hand, left hand over your heart, your right hand lifted to God. It is also the profession of our faith which we must hold on to without weathering. Come on, close your eyes, raise your hand high. Put your hand over your heart which represents your spirit. And let's shout, say, dear God. I come to you today, Lord. I come in weakness of sin. But I want strength to overcome sin and become righteous. I come in weakness of oppression by evil spirits and torments by the evil one and wrong thinking in myself. But I want strength, my father. 
to be free from these things. I come from the weakness of being an outsider from heaven. Hated for hell because I'm not a child of God. But Lord, I want power to be made a son of God. I've heard and I now believe that you Lord Jesus are the son of God. When you came and died on the cross of Calvary and shed your blood, it was for me that my sins may be forgiven. When you rose from the dead, it was that you may live in my heart. And make me alive again in my spirit. That I may feel your presence. And be born again. So today I forsake the way of sin. And every evil way. I turn away from these things. And from drunkenness. And from worship of the dead. And from witchcraft. From dependence on witch doctors. I repent from new age things. I repent in the name of the Lord Jesus. From all wrong worship. Which is not centered on the blood of Jesus. And I open my heart to you, Lord Jesus. Who died for me and rose again. Come into my heart now. Jesus, forgive all my sins. Wash me clean with your blood. And by the power released from that cross. Make my dead spirit alive again. Because you are coming to live in me by your spirit. Let me be born again. And my name written in your book of life. My name written in your book of life. Satan, I reject you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Satan, I reject you in the and every demon spirit I cast out of my life in the name of Jesus. And Satan, I cast you out in the name of Jesus. Satan, I cast you out in the name of Jesus. Satan, I cast you out in the name of Jesus. I no longer belong to you. My sins are taken away. My weaknesses are removed. And strength has come into me to be a child of God. Because now I'm born again. Strength has come into me to be righteous. And to worship only Jehovah, the true living God. I am born again. I've now received eternal life. And I know it's real. Because God who does not lie promised me. That when I call on him, I will be saved. I have called, I am saved. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. He has heard your prayer. And there were prayers for you. In the name of Jesus. A new life has now begun. Jesus has come and forgiven you and is giving you power to live right. And from today you begin to know his presence. Raise up your hands high. And every child of God also in this room, raise your hands. Because it is written, rejoice in this thing. That your names are written in the book of life. And lift up your voice and say to Jesus, thank you. For saving me and for washing my sins away. 
Come on, let us lift up our voices. And let them be voices of thanksgiving. You that has just said, Jesus, come into my life. Tell Jesus now, thank you that you have come in. You have made me a child of God. I receive your salvation, Lord. I receive eternal life. I receive the writing of my name in the book of life. I receive total freedom from today. I receive power. I have now declared to be a son of God, a daughter of God with power. I am declared to be on my way to heaven with power, and that power that would enforce it is the power that was generated by Jesus when he died for me on the cross by the appointment of God. So tell him thank you, thank you, thank you. And you that was already saved rejoice in this that your name is written in the book of life. And say Jesus I thank you for that salvation and for my name that is written in your book of life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let us clap our hands unto the Lord. Let us clap our hands unto the Lord. There is something more about to happen to you. But let me see you that you pray today. And are standing here. How many of you are saying, Prophet, I'm serious. And I now know Jesus has come into my heart. Raise your hand and wave it. Let me see you. Just raise your hand and wave it. Let me see you. We welcome you to the family of God. And to the kingdom of God. Sunday by Sunday, come and worship God with us. Tomorrow we are right in this room. If you are from Marari on Sundays, we are in the former Rainbow Theater in Kambuzuma there, section 2. It's a family of God church. Come and worship God. And you'll hear in other places where, where you can come to church so we can teach you how to be strong in Jesus. But the reason the bishops are standing before you, there are people called by God, and it is written and shown and shown in the parable of the man who was wounded on the way to Jericho that the Samaritan who gave him life was a person who had been given not one but two coins you see you see these people you see standing before you have an extra coin it is called the anointing God called them and he put power in their lives and in their hands that when they pray for you and minister to you it is Jesus who is going to touch you they are going to come around among you soon and as they pray for you if you seek receive your healing but above all I want them to pray for you that you may receive the Holy Spirit but also you as you talk to God is hearing you and filling you with the Holy Spirit so I want us to pray one more prayer Jesus actually said when you have received me I won't leave you walking alone I will give you a helper the third person of the God who is three in one the father is over all the son Jesus died for us but the Holy Spirit is the power the helper through whose power God created the world and does everything. He is even called the arm of the Lord. And Jesus says, I'll give him to you as your helper. And he won't help you from outside. He will fill you. He says, the Father will give you the helper. Your heavenly father will give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him. And so today, I want you to ask for power that lives in you. Because Jesus, that's the way he characterized it. He said you receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. you because of his power, you become witnesses unto me. In other words, people who keep having 
seeing things happening to you that come from Jesus. You will talk about those things from uh, effort from Jesus everywhere. You begin to live a supernatural life. He will help you to pray. He will help you to overcome sin. He will help you to experience miracles of God in your life. He will help you to feel the presence of God. He is the power of God. And yet God said, He wants to baptize or fill you with the Holy Spirit. If you just ask in the name of the Lord Jesus, if there happens to be anyone else in this gathering, you may be sick, you need healing. You can come down now. Let the bishops lay hands on you as they pray. Healing will also come to you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. But right now let's raise up our hands everywhere. And you that are at the front, close your eyes. Open your voice now. Let's begin to ask for the Holy Spirit. And say, Lord, fill me with the Holy Spirit. I don't want to walk alone, I want the help. servants of God, go among them quick. Lay hands on everyone. Come on in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. By that anointing in the name of the Lord Jesus, you that are crying out to God, receive ye the Holy Spirit. Receive ye the Holy Ghost. You that are sick in the name of Jesus, be healed in the name of Jesus. You that are oppressed, be delivered. Every evil spirit depart in the name of the Lord Jesus. The servants of God, you have to force your way in among them. And make sure everybody is touched in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And don't go away, stand there. I need an usher to control those children. Stand there and pray. We want to pray right now. In the name of Jesus. Come on, children, raise your own hands. There are little people in hell right now because they did not want to submit themselves to the Lord Jesus Christ. So you also as a child, give your life to Jesus now. Come on, everybody ask and say, Lord, fill me with the Holy Spirit. I want power in the name of the Lord Jesus. Lord, pour out your spirit, my Father. And feel everyone that is asking. You as you are standing there, I say in the name of Jesus, receive ye the Holy Ghost. Be filled with the spirit of promise. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Yes, Holy Spirit. Breathe on these dead that they may live. Breathe on this weak that they may be strong in the name of the Lord Jesus. Yes, give your people power. Come and live in them and baptize them. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Wind of God, breathe upon your people. And fill their lives in the name of Jesus. That they may not walk alone. For you are to be with us forever. Come on, just keep crying out to God. Fill me with the Holy Spirit. And say, Holy Spirit, I welcome you to my life. I want power. I don't want weakness. Fill me, Lord, with the Holy Spirit. And Jesus told us what things soever you desire. When you pray, believe you have received it and you shall have it. You have asked right now for the Holy Spirit. Believe you have received. Because God who promised does not lie. So now raise your hands and change your prayer to say thank you to the Lord. Tell him thank you for the Holy Spirit. Tell him I receive the Holy Ghost. Let me hear your voice giving thanks right now. Let me hear your voice giving thanks. Thank you Father for the Holy Spirit. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon you. Receive ye the Holy Ghost. Receive ye the Holy Ghost. Receive ye the Holy Ghost. And now also every infirmity and disease by the power of the Spirit of God that we witnesses uh, to the cross of Jesus Christ. I command you sicknesses, go! I command you demon spirits, go! In the name of the Lord Jesus, asthma depart, heart problem, go! Blindness and tumor, go! Every disease depart in Jesus' name. From the top of your head to the sole of your feet, be healed in Jesus' name. Mental problems, uh, 
and mental sicknesses. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, depart you lunatic spirits. In the name of the Lord Jesus, you demons of bondage and witchcraft, and you literal spirits of lust, depart in the name of the Lord Jesus. You little to Colossians, go in the name of Jesus. I enforce upon you in the name of Jesus the power of the cross of Jesus Christ that gives these people a declaration of freedom. Leave in the name of the Lord Jesus. Lord, pour out your spirit. Now everybody believe he has heard your prayer and raise your hands and change your prayer and tell the Lord, thank you for the Holy Spirit. I receive the Holy Spirit. Come on, change your prayer. Tell him, thank you for the Holy Ghost. I receive the Holy Spirit. I receive also healing and well-being. I receive freedom in the name of the Lord Jesus. When the Son shall set you free, you shall be free indeed. Come on, tell him, thank you, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. You have been filled with the Holy Spirit. Everyone in this room, and those who are hearing me on the stream, the Spirit of the Lord God is Spirit, the word of God teaches us that when he fills you, he wants by your permission and by your starting it to use you, your mouth, your lips, your tongue, your voice from your spirit that has just come alive to pray to God in a language your mind does not understand. The Bible calls this speaking in other tongues. It's actually Jesus who said, in my name, you shall speak in your tongues. It's called praying in the Spirit also in the Bible. It is written they were all filled with the Holy Spirit when it happened the first time. And Jesus is the same yesterday, today and forever. It is happening also here from the same Jesus who has poured this that you see and you hear. So you are now filled with the Holy Spirit. I said those who are filled with the Holy Spirit they Again, so you must also begin. It does not happen by itself. It says they stopped speaking language they could understand and began to speak in languages they did not understand. And it was not nonsense because the Holy Spirit gave them utterance. He made sure the words were not nonsense, but the words of prayer and praise to God in the Spirit. Now raise your hands up straight to God. Everybody here does. Down, uh, or in church in the stands I don't want anyone thinking of anything else the Holy Spirit is filling this place raise your hands and your face to God and knowing the Holy Spirit is upon you open your mouth move your lips and your tongue let your voice come out don't speak Shona don't speak English don't speak in Devenes Zulu Fenda don't speak a language you understand Understand. But open your mouth, move your lips and your tongue, let your voice come out. Let words you do not understand come out of you. Speak in tongues in the name of Jesus. Offer those words to Jesus. They are not nonsense. The Holy Spirit is giving you utterance. He is making sure those are words of praise. Those are words of prayer to God in the Holy Spirit. Child of God, who is standing there silent, who is outside there, shame on you. Do not lose the action of the Holy Ghost. We want to be in the presence of God. Come on, lift up your hands in this holy place and open up your voice, of your lips and your tongue and think only of Jesus and speaking words you do not understand. Just continue to let it flow. Arababa <laughs> 
Come on, let it flow. Let that new language of the Holy Spirit flow in the name of Jesus. Come on, clap your hands on your people. Come on, let us shout unto the Lord. I said, shout unto the Lord. Shout to the Lord with the voice of triumph. Shout and say hallelujah. hallelujah. I said shout hallelujah. How many of you standing here? You prayed with all your heart sincerely. It's a prophet I know. Jesus is now in my heart. I now have strength to live righteous. I'm on my way to heaven lift up your right hand if you know Jesus is coming to your life. and just wave your hand upon like this wave your hand like this thank God for the harvest church wave your hands like this thank God for the harvest church thank God for the harvest these are people we have just been taken out of the world and become children of God. They've just been called out from the gates of hell and they've become a part of the kingdom of God. So they celebrate it everywhere by clapping our hands and rejoicing. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Some of you standing here, you were sick. Or something was wrong with you. You say, Prophet, there's a change that has come to me. I'm healed. I'm just free here today. Raise your hand and you'll see you wave it also. I know miracles have been happening among you right now. Just wave your hand also in the name of Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Tomorrow will take a lot of time to hear these miracles that God has done. Come also and say what Jesus has done that you may give glory to him in the name of the Lord Jesus. Come on, let's clap our hands again unto the Lord. I just love that scripture in Romans 8 verse 11. The Holy Spirit himself be as witness inside us with our spirits that we are children of God. That's the peace you are feeling inside. The change you are feeling inside. The relief you are feeling inside. With the new presence you are feeling inside. It is the Holy Spirit bearing witness with your spirit that you are now a child of God. But beyond feeling, even if for some reason you are not feeling anything physical, be confident you have been forgiven and saved. And Jesus is in you. Not because of feelings, but because God promised. And he does not lie. He who comes to me, I will not cast him out. And he that is the son of God has got life. Just believe. Because God keeps his promise. We welcome you to the kingdom of God. Come on, clap your hands to the Wangu kutendiri mwana wamari tese mwea mutsene ano pupuri rana ano mwea wangu kutendiri mwana
Come on, sing with that your language of the Holy Spirit. Shara kama taba baba lelo, shaka taba baba baba, shia kama baba 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 shaka lelo baba 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 baba. Tando ya mimi 
worship. Ah, come on, clap your hands out to the Lord. You know, before you leave the front of this room, before you leave the front of this room, and also to everyone in this room, I want to tell you how a family of God church works. And I'm the first member of the family of God. Somebody say hallelujah. And you want to be a part of the family of God. All you have to believe is Jesus in your heart. Somebody say hallelujah. That don't, that's what makes you a part of the family of God. In Ephesians 3, I bow my knees to the Father of whom the family in heaven on earth is named. That's why God gave me that name, family of God. To name this church. This is the family of God church. And the way the family of God to work in every place. The way you want it to work. If you are in a city, we want a big congregation, a central one, which meets on Sunday from all over the city and the, the environs of the city. We call that church the city-wide family of God church. Come on, let's say city-wide family of God church. That's why we have a Harare city-wide family of God church. A Gweru city-wide family of God church. That's why we have a Lusaka city-wide family of God church. Which we also call the Christian National Tabernacle. That's why we have a Havroni city-wide family of God church. A Johannesburg city-wide. And if it's in the village, we call it a rural worship center. Somebody say hallelujah. But you see, to make up that church in the neighborhoods, we also have services. And the one most important service in the middle of the week is on Thursday. It will be in different parts of the city. It is important for us to build it in our localities. I like to call it an area church. So that it's simple to understand when you say an area church. People say, I belong to an area church of the family of God church. Somebody say hallelujah. It's going to be imported in the days that are coming. And for this I also appeal to many of you veterans that are cooling yourselves and refrigerating yourselves full of knowledge and anointing. The Thursday area church meeting is the most important service in the family of God. And it is also a place of opportunity for you as one that has been saved and walked with God to not go and be a spectator but to go and be the lay preacher there to be the helper there the worship leader and worship team member there. So we have area churches in different areas. And we want everyone to be a part of an area church. And we want leaders to be raised for those area churches everywhere. Are the arrangements of our pastors who are leading. And then finally, the most important one is also written in Acts chapter 5, 5, 5, verse 42. Let's say together daily in the temple and in every house they did not stop teaching and preaching Jesus Christ. We also we also meet and pray and have church in the homes. And if you let our pastor and our leaders know, every Tuesday, 
can also start that prayer for you and for your neighbors. And for others who also will find Jesus through you in your house. We call it a home group. And the home groups are surrounding area churches. So on Tuesday, you are in the home group. And it's just an hour on Tuesday. And then on Thursday, you all go from your home groups to the area churches. But on Sunday, oh, come on, someone make a joyful noise. Come on, Sunday, make a joyful noise. It's a time for all of us to come together from the homes and the area churches to the citywide church. Those with cars, you fill your cars with people from area churches. And even higher buses. Some people are failing to come to church because they are poor. Come on, help them to come. They shall soon learn how to prosper. They will bring themselves. But before that, let's bring them. Somebody say hallelujah. And you know that is why also you have to know that the convention is also church. When we went to Lusaka, we taught them to bring each other to church. And if you go outside to the car park, you will see a wonderful miracle. There are buses here from Lusaka. And over a hundred people came from Lusaka alone. They came from Lusaka alone. They are here in this convention. Someone say hallelujah. It is making that arrangement of the house of God and making it be there where you come from. Somebody say hallelujah. When you make those arrangements to be there, you are building the church. So I want everybody to join hands with your neighbor. Raise those hands together. And let's promise God when we come from here, we will build the church. Come on, speak like that in the name of Jesus. And say, Father, I will be in a home group. And on Thursday, I'll go to the area church. And I will be on Sunday with others that I have brought in the Sunday service. Come on, in the citywide church or in the rural worship center. I'm going to be a part of the building of your church in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Ah, come on, just tell the Lord that. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, everywhere let in this simple wisdom your people bring your prayers by building the church by encouraging one another to come to your presence bless the efforts of church building all across the African revival because it enforces the power of the cross in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ come on clap your hands on your people shout to the Lord again with a voice of trust ah, come on I said clap your hands and shout to the Lord with a voice of triumph. Shout and say hallelujah. What I want you to do you that came forward. And I'm sure some of my helper will take your names and help you to continue. But walk back quietly to your seat. I'm going to give some little time for you to go back to those stands. And in here let's just stand before the Lord. And let's sing and celebrate the cross. Come on, turn to your neighbor and say the power of the cross. Say, I am declared uh, to be a son of God uh, with the power because of the resurrection of Jesus and the power he released on the cross. Tindakare wa kuti ndirima na wamari ne simba burigiza ne simba rom chinjikwa Ne uchenjeri wakareke zera pa mchinji kwa. 
Somebody say hallelujah. Come on, let's sing as people walk back, but just let's focus on the Lord and as you walk, sing as you walk. Timbe wana chizokera, staka nangisa paneishi. Mwemba wana chizokera. Saka Girozi pa Shizika Tika nanga na pa Shizichi Ona mashura Ayo pamu Shijikwa Aleluya pamu Shijikwa Zakawa, Salabani, 
of Jesus. Tell him, move over. Say, I'm coming across the lines. Tell him, the African revival is coming across the lines with the power enforcing the power of the cross. Shout and say, glory, glory, glory. 
Ti satani. Musita la Jesu. Suduruka. Ndiriku ya miruku ya msese. Rumu tutoloma Afrika rumu ya miruku ya msese. Nesimba. Tichimani kizira simba. Rumu chinji kwa. Titi kubwinya, kubwinya, kubwinya. Somebody say hallelujah. Now be seated and as you sit. Sing a prayer. Say Jesus. Appear unto us. Appear unto us. Appear unto us. Oh Jesus. Clapping unto the Lord. You know, just want to give you something to take away from this service. To add on to the arsenal which God is giving you from the power of the cross. How many of you are feeling armed? Come on, how many of you are feeling you are strong? strong. Come on, say the arsenal of the power of the cross. You know, I want you to turn with me to... uh, some we've already read in Psalm 68 just to refresh your minds. I want to flash through portions of it. And I'll remind you of a few, few scriptures which we read earlier as Mama Uta read the scriptures. Some 68 first of all expresses the mission what God is up to and what he wants soldiers who execute his power or who enforce his power somebody say hallelujah to achieve for him. And David who raised the psalm makes it very clear that he is not just a man or a normal person just trying to be healed. But he knows his place among enforcers. Somebody shout and say hallelujah. 
of the power of the cross. Somebody say hallelujah. And you see, if I am give to give a message like this a name, I would call it enforcers of the power of the cross. Come on, turn to your neighbor. Come on, take look at their, at their eyes. Hold their hand. Come on, say, I invite you in the name of the Lord Jesus. And in the name of the prophet who is preaching to take your position uh, as an enforcer of the power of the cross. So David understands clearly what God is up to. What he is working on. What is his agenda in our day. Come on, talk to me today. And he actually fires a declaration which when it is fired in the spirit it is regarded by demons angels and the almighty himself as part of the arsenal of weapons which are being fired to enforce the power of the cross what does he say he says, let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. Are you able to say that? Say, let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. Let them also that hate him flee before him. Say, let them that hate him flee from before him. These is not first and foremost a command to human beings. Somebody say hallelujah. This is a word into the invisible world of the spirit. If you were to look at it in New Testament terms, it is an execution of the power of the cross in the agenda where Jesus himself said, in my name you shall cast out devils. Let these evil spirits flee that hate God. Let God arise and his enemies be scattered. They are not being scattered just from the air and the ground. Even today, God's enemies were scattered out of the hearts of people. Can somebody shout and say hallelujah? There were people today who were freed from witchcraft. There were people today who freed from unbelief and hating God. Freed from disease. And the power comes from the cross. And in this moment, God arose and the enemies were scattered. But I want you to see the gun Foot was not fired by an angel. It was fired by a human being like you. Come on, tell your neighbor, I invite you to take your place in the front line of the enforcers of the cross. Sometimes some people amaze me. When you matter like this, you are humbling yourselves in front of demons. We are in the spirit. Come on, speak up. Say, I invite you to take your place in the front line 
of the enforcers of the cross. Tell them in the name of Jesus. Cast out devils. Come on, wave your own hand and say, Let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. Because of the power that was loosed from the cross. Somebody shout and say hallelujah. In verse 3, he speaks of the rise of the church. Let the righteous be glad. Rejoice before our God. And sing praises. And extol him. That rideth upon the heavens. By his name Jah. Jehovah. Somebody say hallelujah. Do you know that, that Jah is a Hebrew form of Jehovah. And rejoice before him. In other words, let there be the church. Let there be a gathering of people who are praising him. Let people be born again and give praises to his name. In that declaration with power is not being done by an angel but by a man like you. Just the devil say devil. Say the name of Jesus. Tell him stay on your side of the line. What is Satan? Musitara Jesu. Come on, he says this God in verse 5 uh, brings out those who are bound on chains. Let there be freedom for those that are bound like Isaiah 61 says. He sends plentiful rain to confirm his inheritance. And that's why you know that he's talking about the church rising before the cause of the power of the cross. Because in verse 10 he says uh, your congregation somebody say hallelujah has dwelled in therein and you prepared goodness for the poor. He summarizes what is happening in verse 11. It describes the principle I'm preaching about today. Come on, tell your neighbor, I invite you today to take your place in the front line of the enforcers of the cross. Come on, shout it. Shout it again. This is the principle and arrangement of God. It's in verse 11. The Lord gave the word. The Lord gave what must be declared for power to be released. Somebody shout and say, Hallelujah. And scatter his enemies and gather his people for power to be released and scatter his enemies. For power to be released and gather his people. Somebody say hallelujah. He says there's an arrangement. And this is the arrangement of God. The Lord gave the word. And great was the company of those that published it. How many of you today are prepared to be publishers of the declaration of God? The one that releases the power of the cross. Tend to your neighbor and say, I invite you to take your place in the front line 
of the enforcers of the power of the cross. Dino kumani, dino kukoka kututore nzimbo yako pamutese wemberi we hondo wema no mani kiti la simba no mchinjikwa. So as a result, kings and armies began to flee. The spoil began to be shared by the righteous. Silver and gold, the almighty scattered kings, built his holy hill. Come on, shout and say hallelujah. Say thank you, Jesus. And he said, as he's making this arrangement, it's also described in verse 18, which for you, Bible is in officiators, you also know this is Ephesians 4. The arrangement God gave so that what was done on the cross may be enforced. Verse 18. Thou hast ascended on high. You have held led captivity captive. And you have received gifts for men. Somebody say hallelujah. He's talking about Jesus. Efficient says when he rose up, when he out of that hell. He led this captivity captive. Gave gifts to men. Handed power to men. That they may fire from the arsenal of God. Some of them apostles. Prophets, pastors, evangelists and teachers. We are not in the back of the army of God. Children of God. You are in the front line of the enforcers of the power of the cross. Can somebody shout and say hallelujah? Come on, say thank you, Jesus. Praise God. So this God lords us with benefit. In 20 is the God of our salvation. He will wound in verse 21 the head of his enemies. Bring judgment to the sinners in the end. And he says uh, to us in verse 24. They have seen your goings, O oh God. The goings of my God and my King in the sanctuary. That's what we're seeing here today. Yesterday, they are the goings of our God in the sanctuary. Healing the sick. Saving the lost. Doing his works. It's all here. This psalm is about the church. Verse 25. The singers went before. The players of instruments followed after. Among them were the damsels. Playing with timbrels. Blessing the Lord in the congregation. Even the Lord from the fountain of Israel. There is little Benjamin, Benjamin Mudoko, princess of Judah, Judah. the council, e, Dari, Dari. princess of Zebulon, Zebron, prince of Naphtali. Naphtali. There is Paneo. Zimbabwe family of God church. Zimbabwe family of God church. There is Botswana. Pane Botswana. There is South Africa. Pane South Africa. There is UK family of God. Pane kereke muri amari. There is Australia family of God. Australia eri po kereke muri amari. There is Zimbabwe family of God. Pane kereke muri amari ku Zimbabwe era. At the front line. Pamuza to Mberi. Of the enforcers of the cross. Yeva no mani kiti ramtin. Ah, come on, somebody can somebody shout and say hallelujah. Twenty eight. Thy God has commanded thy strength. Strengthen, O God, that which you have wrought for us. Somebody shout and say, Hallelujah. And so he speaks in verse 30. Rebuke the command of spearmen, the multitude of the bulls. Till everyone submit himself with the pieces of silver. Scatter the people that delight in war. I love verse 31 because he puts the front line at the ranks of the front 
That's where he places the Africans. Oh, come on, talk to me here today. I hope you are understanding this message. How many of you are understanding what I'm saying? I hope I'm not talking to myself. How many of you are understanding this message? I know some of you will understand later. It's in verse 31. Princes. Oh, say hallelujah. In other words, leaders who be leaders of the enforcing of the power from the cross shall come out of Egypt. Ethiopia shall soon stretch out their hands to God. Africa, woye! Africa, woye! Africa, woye! He means in this arrangement of God that people like you and me may become enforcers of the power of the cross at the front line. Ethiopia will be in front. Africa will be in front. I don't know why you don't clap your hands. I don't know why you don't rejoice. Because Europe is not in Psalm 68. It is Africa which is in Psalm 68. 32, sing unto God you kingdoms of the earth. Sing praises unto the Lord Seder. To him that rideth upon the heavens which were of old. He sends out his voice. A mighty voice. Ascribe your strength unto the Lord. His excellency is over Israel. His strength is in the clouds. Oh God, thou art terrible. Out of your holy places. How many of you know that the church is God's holy place? Can I see you right here today? Come on, say, Lord, you are terrible. Uh -uh, come on, man. Say, Lord, you are terrible. Out of your holy place, which is called the family of God church. The God of Israel is he that giveth strength and the power unto his people. Blessed be God. Somebody shout and say hallelujah. You see in the past. When I preached this message. Which I am preaching now. My target. Was I will preach it. And when I have preached it. About the work. That Jesus. Jesus did during and after his exodus. Somebody say hallelujah. Getting out of his body. Say hallelujah. I say when I preached it. And show. How the purpose of the second day. As Jesus dies. And descends into hell. Because that's where we are. On Thursday. We took communion. We took communion. Because that's the night he was betrayed. Let's clap hands. For partaking of the body of the Lord. It's not bread. It's the body of Jesus. It is not blood. It is not wine, it is the blood of Jesus. And we are on the right side of the bread, of the, of the body and the blood of Jesus. If you are on the Thursday, you understand, you understand that. And then yesterday, we traveled to the foot of the cross where he dies for us. We had the work and the power that was being released the power of the cross so that there may be power to make a reality the declarations that we are now children of God because Jesus paid the price somebody shout and say hallelujah but he dies 
as an offer. Hallelujah. And on the third day, or the second day, if you like, from his death, he is in the nether places. Somebody say, Hallelujah. It is written, he descended into hell. Somebody say, Hallelujah. It is from there that it is also written even in Psalm 68. You led from there captivity captive. And you gave weapons not to angels but to people. Power Simba. to enforce the things you did and died for on the cross. You did not hand it to angels. At the front line of it, you gave it to men. Somebody say hallelujah. I want you to know what happened on that day. So that you understand this journey. Somebody say hallelujah. You see, when Jesus Apo Jesu, is dying on the cross, the word of God, Shogoramari, New Testament, Testament Old Testament, Testament, Testament Kare, describes Nangura, both in a symbol and in a simple fact what happened. Jesus had to die Jesu, I found out after. because number one, no, he had to carry all the snakes of the devil I found out after, no, Jose, the Satan. that were put to afflict us and he died to kill them. Of, uh, do you understand that? You see, when you were put, your sins were put on Jesus. Then he was nailed on the cross. When your disease was put on Jesus, then he was nailed on the cross. When your poverty was put on Jesus, and he was nailed on the cross, it was being done that as he dies, these things may be killed in him. And God knew once in the spirit these things have been killed. They will not be resurrected. There was no power for them to rise again. Your disease was killed. It remains dead. When you see it in the stripes of Jesus. That's why Moses was told. They are being beaten by a snake. Put a dead snake. Let them see. The snakes that are biting them. Dead on the cross that is lifted up. That's why you must. The way you must see. Every negative thing in your life. In Jesus suffering. It was being killed in the spirit so that it may die in your life. When you see things that way, somebody shout and say, Hallelujah. Raise your hands a few moments. Speak to Jesus. Tell him as you were beaten. Every sickness was killed. From my body in the name of Jesus. It will not rise again. If there are sicknesses in you, name them right now. Say this cancer, this growth was killed. This barrenness was killed. You are dead in the stripes of Jesus. Your blindness, you were killed. You are dead in the stripes of Jesus. Speak like that, you cancer, you were killed. You killed infection, you were killed. You are dead in the stripes of Jesus. Come on, say on the cross. You sin, you were killed. You demon, you were killed, you were defeated. Your power was destroyed. In the name of the Lord Jesus, upon that cross of Calvary, you sin and you guilt and judgment. You were killed upon that cross. You will never be able to rise again. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Declare it in the name of Jesus. Through my faith, I declare you dead because of the power of the cross. Says the devil, say devil, uh, say the name of Jesus. Tell them to stay on your side of the line. It is Satan. 
Satan was enjoying the power. He thought he was now ruling the world and the universe. He was so cheeky that even when Jesus stood before him, he was offering him the world. He says, it's mine. And yet from the beginning, he created nobody. These were people that had been stolen from God. Jesus came to shave off the arrogance of the devil. Somebody shout and say hallelujah. And so because Satan thought because the real issue is kingdom who is going to rule over all? Who is the king of it all? Can I hear you say Jehovah is Lord? Somebody shout and say hallelujah. But Satan was thinking he is king. If you want to understand the agenda, it's about kingdom. God, who is God? Because of himself. And through himself. And by himself. Who is God without your help? And without anybody's help. And who was there forever? Backwards and forward. And who is the one who initiated this thing called being? He is the owner of all things. Somebody say hallelujah. And he created everything. And as long as it was submitted to him, angels, cherubims, seraphims, if things you see materials, everything had life. In him was the life. And when you see him one day, and you see these things physically, you will understand what it means. When he's written in Jehovah, is the founder of life. Every positive force of being and life is simply because of Jehovah. And life will thrive as long as Jehovah remained king. Somebody say hallelujah. But one day, for some inexplicable reason, the biggest person in heaven, apart from Jesus, the name was Lucifer. Why is Lucifer? The Bible says he was the angel that covered the throne. The worshiper with the tablets in himself. You didn't have to play guitars when he sang. He was called Lucifer. He would sing and the music would come out of himself. But one day, pride entered him. And the self-making, he thought I, might, I shall make myself like God. He said, I will ascend. He forget where he came from. He's a creature of God. Made by God. With life because of God. But he said, I want myself to be God. He rebelled. And he was then fought. That's when wars began. To preserve the kingdom. Somebody say hallelujah. Thrown out of heaven. At the front of God's army. Was Jesus the son. That's why you read in Luke chapter 10. He says I saw Satan fall like lightning. Somebody say hallelujah. So a third of the angels who followed him turned into evil spirits like him. Cast into the atmosphere. Somebody said hallelujah. Then God created an earth. Heaven and earth where we are. And he said 
because of this that I have lost by the deception of Satan I will now create in my own image a portion of creatures who shall become the front line of my army that's who you are he says, let us make men in our image. And when we make him to be like us, we are creating him to have dominion. You are not created to forever be a patient. You you are not created to forever think that the purpose of church and God's thinking and your existence is just to make you survive, rescue from troubles. You were created to rule with God and to fight in front of his armies. God takes you seriously. God depends on you. He's looking at you. And he says, these are mine. Whom we put in the front. Somebody say, hallelujah. hallelujah. It's just like our family. In our family, the Utaunashes, there is a big one. If there are any fights, He's the one we depend on. If there's any fight, if an eye stand back, Babakamu stands back, Bishop E stands back, Ambassador stands back, we push him forward. We depend on him. His name is Peace Utaunashi. You understand what I'm saying? I don't know the Peace Utaunashi. That's who you are to God. That's how he created you. And said, let us have dominion. They will rule with us. If you look carefully, the Bible says, when it's all over, you shall even judge angels. Somebody say, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. So he put us here. But suddenly, when we had been put in that supernatural atmosphere, Garden of Eden, which was just a part of heaven. Oh, come on, you all don't talk. Satan came, followed up, tried to do again what he had done in heaven deceived Adam and sin ended us and weakness ended us but before we were taken away from God and when God looked at it he said we are not going to take this lying down I am going to release a power release what? by which I'm going to get my people back. Restore them to who I always wanted them to be. And this was his plan. But those like you and me, who will have been restored by what he has done. And now we understand what he did was to send the son to come and die and satisfy the justice of paying the penalty through his blood that may be taken back from the devil. Somebody say hallelujah. Say thank you Jesus. And to this power which in the court of the universe Satan must and will always admit I have no right to these people. When the enforcers come I will have to let go. Can somebody shout and say hallelujah. Praise God. So you and I that have been set free. Is there anybody who has been set free? That are born again, that know Jesus. God does not look at us in the small way that you are looking at yourself. He looks at you 
is once you have been restored so that you can take your place among those that will fight somebody say hallelujah to enforce the power of the cross so that God may get back his people that were stolen by Satan who were supposed to be his sons and daughters his soldiers partakers and rulers with him that's what is going on that's what will make you understand Psalm 68 that's what will make you understand Matthew 6 where Jesus says when you people pray don't just go around asking for meals meat say our father which art in heaven what is the next line shout it what's the next line what is the next line and what is the next line? What is the next line? Thy, shout it, say, Thy kingdom come. The next line is, Your will be done. In earth, as it is in heaven. Everything that is fighting you. We are firing these words as part of your army. Let it be scattered. And because we want to fight so that your kingdom may come. We want to fight to restore your people again. Your earth again. As you even swore. Numbers 14. When they were refusing to get into the promised land, which was part of God's plan of restoration, God stood up and says, I don't care what you are doing, Satan, discouraging these Israelites. But as surely as I live, the whole earth shall be covered with the glory of the Lord. Can somebody shout and say, Hallelujah? Say, Thank you, Jesus. So, because that was his arrangement when he made you and me and when he beget us reversed Satan's work caught us born again through that power of the cross. The plan of God was not that we may just become people who are going from camp to camp looking for healing. Who are going from church meeting to church meeting with a totally self-centered agenda. It's about me. What can be done for me? No. Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is why in the Lord's prayer he says first he says our father let your kingdom come. We are here to make what you want be done in earth. Scatter your enemy and make the earth like heaven. And because we need strength to fight that war. Give us this day our daily bread. We don't live for daily bread. We don't live for money or for survival. All those are just supporting elements so that we may fight that what God wants in earth may be executed. I hope you are understanding me. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. And he said when you pray tell the father ah, once in a while we forgot the drill and we cooperated with your enemy. So forgive us our sins. Clean us up. We want to remain your soldiers. Somebody say hallelujah. 
And as you clean us up, help us to keep out of those portions where Satan is trying to pull us again. Lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from evil. But Father, all this is because we know thine is the kingdom. Thine is the power. Thine is the glory. In case you do not understand it, people like Daniel expressed it in simple ways. He says the saints of the Most High, the people who know Jesus, are not commonality. The saints of the Most High shall take back the kingdom. They shall reign forevermore. And you say, prophet, when shall it happen? It's happening right now. That's why we are here. That's why you are seeing us going to hell. Taking those people you saw sitting here, standing here. Somebody say, hallelujah. Hallelujah. What we did here today, when we declared what God wants about people, and how we fought for them to get back, and invited them to come, we took these people out of hell, out of darkness, into light. We enforced the power of the cross. Can you clap for us today? Can you clap for us today? That's what we did. That's what we actually exist for. That's why I keep trying to tell you. Don't live as if the church is about you. And all that is being done is about pleasing your majesty. Everything we are doing is about Jehovah's agenda. Can somebody clap your hands and unto the Lord right now? Don't wait too late to find it out. That is why you see some verses like Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Seek ye first to fight to enforce the power of the cross so that God can get his back. And if you are like that, this God will equip you. All other things shall be added unto you. Can somebody shout and say hallelujah? hallelujah. When I have understood this, I don't preach anymore about this cross just so that we can cast out one or two demons. I now understand the whole message. Can somebody shout and say hallelujah. This is actually what happened. You see he died. The Bible says if Satan and demons and principalities had known it what was happening they would not have crucified him. All of it he was saying to them come into me. Sin come. Demons come man. Kill me. Come. So they all came. Sin came. Disease came. Demons came. Principality came. Say hallelujah. Pilate said we are killing you. Jesus says I'm not being killed. I'm laying my life down. But I'm gathering things to kill together with me. When I do suicide bombing. <laughs> Come on. I, I don't know why you don't enjoy the word of God. 
I'm gathering things to kill together with me. In my suicide on the cross. He said, my life, I am laying it down, but I will take it back again. So they all came. The poverty demons came. Satan himself came. At the cross, demons were feverish. They were in the people. They were in the air. They were everywhere. Around Jesus. The Bible says, on the cross, he was undressing them. He was triumphing over them. He was taking power from them. And he said, what all these demons don't know is I suicide bomb and they have come to me. They don't know I want them to die in the spiritual realm. I want the power that they have to be taken away by a death. But the difference between them and me is I'm able to take back my life again. And when I take back my life, I will leave them dead. I will leave them disempowered. I will leave them no longer with rights. Can somebody shout and say hallelujah? I will leave them in a position when now when the executors come when they are trying to continue to trespass the executors can sweep them away the executors of the power can take people back from them so that's why Jesus then God kills, bearing our sins, diseases, demonic operations. And then he came down with that death into hell. And Satan descended there with him. Demons were already parting. We have killed Jesus. We have killed Jesus. They did not know they had executed a spiritual death which was killing them all and taking away their power because even the power of hell God had ordained it will go on until a light arrives in hell and then from that moment hell darkness power will have been defeated at headquarters. Somebody shout and say hallelujah. It cannot rule anymore. So as the demons were celebrating, as they were saying we have killed him, he's dead. Suddenly what they never thought could happen happened. A light appeared in hell. It is written the light shineth in darkness and the darkness cannot overcome it. The light will, over, will, will of, overcome it. Because for this reason, Jesus, the Son of God, so that you can see it in the verse, was manifested that he may destroy. All the works of the devil. So when he came in there, 
powers of hell were now being neutralized. God had even spoken it the day he judged the snake in the garden of Eden. This person of mine and this woman you use, I'm going to use her to produce a pure seed one day. And the seed that comes out of her shall crush your head. You will wound his heel. He meant you would crucify him. But after you crucify him, all you will leave is a scar in the heel. But you, Satan, your head will be crushed. Can somebody shout and say hallelujah? I'm trying to make you to understand this mystery. So you can understand where our power comes from. The power of the cross. It has no borders. It is power that has defeated hell. It has prevented witches. Satan. Disease. Sin. Anything you can think of. Somebody say hallelujah. That's why as a Christian, don't go around. I've seen some of you coming with the miserable requests. I'm being bewitched. You are not born again. I'm telling you the truth. You can't witch a Christian. It's not possible. Jesus says, I give you power. Which I took. To tread on serpents. On all the power of the devil. Nothing shall by any means hurt you. I've had parents. Who tried to force young Christians. Carry them by force to the strongest witch doctors. They came back with a testimony. The witch doctor tries to do things on the born again girl who's being forced. And the witch doctor forms his blood. Or the witch doctor. Just tell them. Take her out of here. Just the presence of this one. My power does not work. Those of you who are afraid of witches and witch doctors and satanists. Please come and be born again today. Because when you receive the real Jesus, he is the one who said, because of the power I have brought you after disgracing the demons by suicide bombing with them and going into their headquarters. And as I rise, having taken the keys and the power to the key to everything, the keys to death, the keys to every kind of evil from Satan and taken Satan himself thrown him over in the fire and as he tries to reach out to touch me as I rise I crushed his head and I wrote defeated on his forehead that's what happened in hell and the Bible says as he rose, he was giving gifts to us. He was giving a power to us. Somebody shout and say hallelujah. And that's why when he has risen again, he says to us, all power. How much power? How much power? All power. All power in heaven, on earth, in hell, is given unto me. But I am not keeping it. 
I'm handing you. As long as you come in my name, that power. Go ye therefore. And I in I so so. Oh, come on, you all don't talk. Go ye therefore. And I in I so so. That's why you are here. And everywhere you are alive, execute that power. And force that power. Beginning uh, with enforcing it uh, in your own life, then in the lives of those who are still captured. Praise God. By Satan. Satan. All you have to do is come among them and declare with the power to them what I've done for them by dying for them on the cross and rising again. Invite them. Tell them, I have arrived, but I brought Jesus with me. I brought power with me. That's what we did here today. You understand what I'm saying today? And he says, when you do that, and when they receive me, it doesn't even end there. If they are sick, if they have demons, execute the power. Enforce the power. In my name, you shall cast out devils. You shall cast out devils. Principalities. Powers. Masimba. That's why the witch doctor said, Take this child out of here. My powers are no longer working. It is because an executor, an enforcer of the power of God had been brought to him. And that's why I told you, those of you who are fearing witches, surely come and be born again. Come and receive the real Jesus. The one who, when he has been received, you will say, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. You will stand before every demon. Not even short picking ones. And going to their Goliaths. And saying in the name of Jesus. Get out of this person. Can somebody shout? I said shout hallelujah. Shout and say hallelujah. Come on turn to your neighbor and say I invite you. To come to the front line of the enforcers of the power of the cross. Now this was the design of God. The design of God. When you heard me yesterday. Speaking about enforcers. And enforcement. Of the power of the cross. You probably thought. These enforcers. Are angels. These enforcers. Are cherubims. No. The first enforcer. Is you. God is depending on you. When the power was released on the cross, somebody say hallelujah. Jesus was told, when you have released this power, come back where you came from. Go to the Peters who had rejected you. Go to the Johns. Restore them again. And to those who shall believe through them. 
and tell them uh, I was told by the father that when I have got the power I must hand it to enforcers yes the angels will use it yes the cherubims will use it but the father told me no one can use it unless the guns are fired first by the front line so the father told me to give it to you. So even if they are shaking, that's why he arrives where in the book of John where the disciples are gathered together for fears of the Jews. But he breathes on them. He says, receive ye the Holy Ghost. Whosoever sends you remit, they are remitted. Somebody say hallelujah. That's why he comes and he says, all power in heaven and earth under the earth is given unto me. Go ye there. Somebody say hallelujah. I want to tell you, church, you can't send angels there. You can't send cherubims there. God is depending on the church. Somebody shout and say hallelujah. This is the reason why I read with you why I read with you the journey Straight from the Old Testament. It begins with Abraham. The father says, Go from this land. Begin to live as I tell you. I'm going to empower you so that through you, families of the earth will be blessed with salvation. Somebody say, Hallelujah. Then Abraham is told, Abraham, because the power is in you. I'm so sure I saw it in Genesis 13. Walk the length and the breadth of the land. Taking it. Bringing my power to it. Because the whole earth shall be covered with the glory of the Lord. And when Abraham bears his hand, whose name is called Isaac. God says to Isaac, what I say to Abraham is also what I'm saying to you. Go into the land, I am giving it to you. Can somebody say hallelujah? And everywhere you go, change the land. Evacuate the demons. Build altars. And bring my presence. When he gets a son called Jacob. Jacob gets the revelation from the beginning. God, because I've discovered you. Ah, this place shall not be called your house. I'm going to go everywhere. You get in the book of Deuteronomy. He tells the people, go into all the land. Take it. Somebody shout and say, hallelujah. I'm giving it to you. It was not about feeding them. It was by, about them getting there, putting their feet, throwing down the idols, raising up his altars, preparing also for God's greatest coup when Jesus shall now come and be born as a man too and given power to overcome Satan. Somebody say hallelujah. But all the time to the front was sent men. And that's why Moses is told. As Joshua is also told. God says, what we are going to get, me, myself, what will be covered by my glory, is everywhere you shall choose to put your foot. That's what shall become mine. Somebody say, hallelujah. If you don't put your foot there, nothing shall come to me. It's an ordination of God. 
is the way he designed the matter that what has been granted that it must come back to him in the courts of the universe what has been declared for him can only be enforced by you and me first that's why it is written the Lord gave the word gave the judgment but great was the company that published it. He looked for the people that would go everywhere declaring it. We are taking this for the Lord. We are taking this for the Lord. But as you declare it, you will not be alone. You will be declared with power. The people we took today, we took them with power. It was not our muscles. Jesus actually said, I'm pushing you forward. Like the Utaona shares, push, push, peace forward. But when you have started the war, when you have declared what I have done on the cross, and that people are now my right, they must be set free and be brought back to me. I will then come and execute the supernatural power. That's why it is written. They went forth first and preached everywhere. Then the Lord working with God with them confirming the word not with the signs in front but with signs doing what? following. Church, we are the front line. Somebody say hallelujah. I am preaching this so that today you may change your idea of who you really are. You are not a person who should be standing Saying, Amen, shall we have? He's saying, Mother will come. Oh, God will come. And I'll do my right, shall we have? You're not a person who should be standing here. I also put on the phone, I'm here, Pano. Singing, I'm here, shall we have? I think about it, the big man will come. Somebody say, Hallelujah. You are actually the person. You are the person. You are the one whom God is saying when he has arrived things are right. 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 Do you know when I came into this room God said to the angels in the Sheraton Utaona Shewaita Wasika Utaona Shewaita has arrived We have scored now. Can somebody shout and say hallelujah? And it's not about you. Tell us alone. It's about you. And if you can see it that way, today you are going to be transformed. Transmogrified. The word transmogrified means to be changed in such a way that a new supernatural glory will be put upon you. Can somebody shout and say hallelujah? You'll be transmogrified into another kind of person, another kind of Christian who is called a kingdom person. Who you out today, Mambo? Where we then go? Who you out today?
And the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom from the little child who knows Jesus to the youth who knows Jesus to the girl who knows Jesus to the teenager who knows Jesus to the boy who knows Jesus to the father, the mother who knows Jesus. When you have arrived, God says, our things are okay. Because an enforcer has arrived. Can somebody shout and say hallelujah? And that's why you read things you don't seem to understand. That's why God tells them the land has been won. It's yours. I've said it before you. But we'll only get we will only get we will only get what you we will only get what you put your foot on. What you don't attack we will not get it. I think as one. And God, that's why we read Deuteronomy. In literal ways, he sent them. They began to march wherever they attacked. The power of the cross forward. It was taken. It was changed until the climax moments. He says, only Og the mighty one Mukuru, the devil himself remained somebody say hallelujah but we know who we are through our champion who is Jesus say hallelujah do you know the bible says they entered the bottom of Og they described the size of his bed. Og is Satan. Og is Satan. And Jesus, our champion, entered into hell where Satan said no one will ever arrive. And he came out describing it all. And he says, I went in, I defeated everything. I know his big bed. We came out carrying it. We came out carrying it. We spoiled him. We came out with the keys. Somebody say hallelujah. And I want you to understand. He's saying. In the days that are coming. Big or small may be the power of Satan. But you. Have been given the power. To enter. To conquer. To take. On the behalf of God. Can somebody shout and say hallelujah. This is the meaning of that second day after Jesus' death. This is where we are to going today. We are also entering in Jesus. Into the bedroom of Og. We are telling Satan there is nothing you are holding which we cannot take back. Because in Christ our master who did it in our place when he defeated you on the cross I defeated you. When he came into hell and took away keys from you I took keys away from you. When he took power from you I took power from you. That is why Caesarea Philippi Jesus said to the disciples whom do you say I am? 
And they couldn't answer except one pickled Peter. She said, I'm looking at you. I say you are the Christos. You are the sufficient one. Who shall go and collect everything? Destroy all the power of the enemy. Give us access and authority and the power to defeat everything. Somebody say hallelujah. And Jesus says, Blessed are thou, Simon Bar John. Simon, John. What you are saying so cannot be found by listening to the philosophies of flesh and blood. It cannot be found by revelation. My Father has shown you where you are standing. Somebody say, Hallelujah. You are standing. In the place of total authority against Satan. As As long as you know it's in me. And you are depending on me that is in you. And the power I wrote on the cross. So because you understand that. I'm giving you the keys of the kingdom. (laughs) You are the ones. Who will look for the kingdom of God? So that whatever God wants in the earth, He will get it because of you. Wherever God wants to be, because on the earth, He will be there because of you. Wait a minute, Jesus. And those places which God wants are they not occupied by demons? Isn't that person that God wants occupied by Sangoma spirits, by witchcraft spirits, by prostitutes spirits, and aren't they demons and other things standing in the way? Jesus said to him, when you go forward, the gates of hell will not prevail against you. You will attack them. You will come back with spoil. Can somebody shout and say, hallelujah. That is why he went to hell. In him we went together. We defeated Satan. Power was handed to us. And when God is looking us at us, we that has built, uh, uh, believed in him, he calls us the church, the ecclesia, the called out ones. We have said, we are the ones who have joined God. We are going to be the front line of his army. Somebody say hallelujah. And he's looking at us. And he says, I'm waiting. Wherever you go. My agenda. The whole earth shall be covered with my glory. As the waters cover the sea. But what can only be covered with my glory. Is when you choose to go. So we chose to come to Harare. Preach the gospel. Declare. With power. And the glory of God. Arrived in Harare. It's called the Harare Stungiza City White Family of God Church. Can you clap your hands? We chose to go to Cameroon and join us. Everywhere we go. Somebody say hallelujah. We are killing with us that power. And God is saying, uh, I am present because you went there. That's why when Jesus came, he said, go ye therefore, teach all the nations where you choose them to go. You have brought my power in the presence. And I'll be with you there always to the ends of the earth. He's waiting for us. Somebody say hallelujah. Stand up to your feet. Some of you are learning the lesson. Some of you are still seated down. If someone near you is still sitting down, knock them on the head. Come on, say, you are making the prophet make us sit down again. Okay, now sit down. Come on, stand up. Somebody shout and say hallelujah. 
I'm not going to tell you the secret. Why when you get out of this camp, you must become the richest person in Africa. You must become the happiest person in Africa. You must become the most powerful person in the world. You must become the most blessed person in the world. You see, no, no. Come on, talk to me. Hallelujah. When God, how many of you can now understand that God has made you an executor of the power of the cross? How many of you can understand that? Can you see? Yeah? The people who benefited from that power today would never have done it if we had not come here to execute that power. They got it because I declared. They got it because you prayed also together with me. They got it because the bishops laid hands. This was not done by angels. This was done by us. And the angels were waiting in line number two to see what we are going to do. Then when we did it, they now run forward also. And they do what angels can do. That's what you call miracles. Miracles don't happen unless the front line gets their first. There are no fights, fist fights of the peace or tanga. Unless peace starts them. So there are no workings of God. Unless you start. Somebody shout and say hallelujah. As I speak like this, I am sure. You are seeing spaces. How many of you can see spaces of where you must go and execute this power? How many of you can see this spaces? We must not tolerate places without churches. Anymore. We must not tolerate places without home groups anymore. We must not play tolerate places without area churches anymore. We must not tolerate that it may continue with the nations without a family of God church anymore. Everywhere. We must not tolerate the next village, the next township. Unless we go there. The kingdom of the glory of God will not arrive. That's why the preaching of the cross is not just about casting out a few devils in the Sheraton and getting you some more boiling and blessing. It's about you going back with an attitude servant of God. With an attitude, child of God, we are going to go to the gates of hell. We are going to execute the power. Angels are looking on us. God Himself is looking. Jesus is saying, We are waiting. Well, you must go there so we can come and confirm it with signs following. How many of you can see now that you are an important person? Can I see you? Somebody shout and say hallelujah. See, the reason why I made you stand up is I want you to understand the story of Jacob, Abraham, Abraham. the story even of Isaac. Come on, you all don't talk. And I'll just send on Isaac. Oh, come on, talk to me here today. Somebody say hallelujah. Isaac, Abraham, Jacob. Isaac, Abraham, Jacob. Wherever they went, they ended up building altars. They ended up bringing the presence of God. And God came there. Because the executors arrived first. But there was also a revelation which he had given them. Somebody say hallelujah. 
How many of you know the spaces where you must go and enforce the power of the cross? Can you wave your hand here? Let me tell you the space you must not leave out. How many of you want to know the place you must not leave out? The first step you must place you must not leave out is your own life. Ah, come on, church. It is your own life. Don't leave out your own life. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is your own life. God sends Isaac to Gera. And Gera, Isaac arrives, brings God's altars and glory in such a way that even the kings admit. Are you hearing me today? Somebody shout and say hallelujah. He showed them his God. Abimelech. Before he even saw anything from Isaac. Even Isaac's lie. Revealed the power of God to Abimelech. From fear he said. This woman is my sister. Because Isaac was married to a beauty queen. Abimelech said we will take her. Just like also Pharaoh in Egypt did with Abraham. When they did that, angels of death began to arrive. Warnings were given in the dreams. You have taken the wife of a prophet here. You are going to die. Lakazira, they knew Isaac, the God of Isaac. Isaac. Before they knew Isaac himself. Abimelech, Abimelech, Pharaoh, Pharaoh, Agadez Abraham. Abimelech, Agadez Isaac. Abimelech called Isaac. Said you're a witch, wizard. You didn't tell us. But the power that follows you. That we didn't know you have. Came and told us. That, that is not your sister. That's your wife. And we were told that if we just touch, if we just touch, we are finished. Can somebody shout and say hallelujah? Hallelujah. Say thank you, Jesus. Take your wife back. They started to fear Abraham, the God of Abraham, Isaac, the God of Isaac, Abraham and Isaac, Abraham and Isaac himself. And and they they were building altars, and building altars. Do you know that even Laban, when he followed Jacob, so that he tries to kill him, he was told in the night that you would die. This person you are pursuing, God depends on him. <laughs> Can somebody say hallelujah? I'm not talking about Isaac. I'm not talking about Jacob. I'm talking about you who want to walk in the church as if you are poor refugees. He 
as if you are looking at a God whom you are trying to convince. Please see me do something here. Turn your head on me somehow, God. And I see you in the church looking for miracles as if the miracles got lost. Looking for God and when others are touching him, the God is look in your eyes. Where is God? Where is God? He is with you. He knows you. He depends on you. And he holds you important. And the reason is you are his front line. You are not being blessed because God is important. You are being blessed because you are important to God. That's what some of you are missing. That's why many of you have a sense of not deserving. So you don't even have small things like cars. You don't even have small things like houses. You don't even have small things like chickens even. One mentioned cattle. Are we together? When people bark, you are afraid. Even a boss says, you are working for me. If you don't allow me to touch your batok, you won't get paid. He says, I won't get touched. I will repent. I'm from church. You don't know who you are. That person will die. You are important to God. See yourself that way. And the reason you are important is you are an executor. You are an enforcer of the power of the cross. And God is depending upon you. That's why you see strange verses. And you shall serve the Lord your God. He will bless your bread and your water and take sickness away from the midst of you because you are important to him so that you may serve him. You understand? I want to give you a new prayer. How many of you don't have cars? You came walking to church. Sometime ago. Raise your hands. Tonight. After walking in the dark. Go and sit down. And pull up your trousers. Boots. And remove your shoes. Pull up your dress. Pull up your dress. And you stretch forth the painful leg. Jehovah. And you say to God. Don't you need this leg? Don't you need this leg? Why do you let it get dislocated? Somebody say hallelujah. Don't you need it? Somebody say hallelujah. Are you not the one who said I must the one who goes forward in the front line? I go first and then you follow. How do I go there first with the painful leg? Where will I arrive? Give me a car. You get it. Surely you get it. You get it. You are poor. Because you don't know who you are. What? Continuing to lodge. Not having a house. A house. Just a house. Yet God said, My people shall dwell in sure dwellings. Sure dwellings. 
in pleasant places good habitations and then the land road comes in the cold month of June you haven't paid rent for two months Buddha. get out they're just standing out there in the rain. Now tell God, you are letting the rain fall on me. You are allowing. You are letting me leave. It's the mercy of landlords. Living in trench. The rain falling down on me. Don't you need me? You want me to start wars for you? Having chest pains from the cold. Come on, talk to me here today. Isaac, Isaac Abraham, Abraham, Jacob, Jacob David, David, they understood the first territory where we must enforce the power of the cross is our own lives. Somebody say hallelujah. That's why the Bible says when Isaac dwelt in the land he looked at the promises of God who said I will give you all these countries. The reason you live in South Africa when they are being so xenophobic God needs you there. God is going to secure your place in that place. The reason you live in the UK and become someone, somebody great when they are being so, so snobbish, God needs you there. Somebody say hallelujah. And when you get there, stop just cleaning bathroom and changing napkins of old women. Tell God, you need me to execute and to enforce your power. Why are you letting me spend all my time changing napkins of old women? Don't you think you should give me something better so that I can have enough resources to be going out to preach, to be giving to build your church, to be blessing the prophet? Don't you need to use me? And this power which you want me to enforce to others. Let's enforce it on me first. That's how when there's a famine in the land, Isaac begins to dig wells. Isaac begins to prosper. What is he doing? He is forcing the power of the cross. It's a drought. Every Philistine is not planting anything. But Isaac says no. By the power of the cross, God distinguishes us. He gives us revelation of something we can do so that we may bless. What shall I do, God? You said oh, you give me all these countries. And it's not just the people that must be one to you. You are also giving me every good thing here. What must you do I do. Then God whispers to him in the night. Dig here. Water will come out. And when it comes out, water the ground and grow things and you become rich. What is he doing? He is executing the power of the thorns and the power of the cross to break poverty and is enforcing it upon his life. And it begins to prosper. Somebody say hallelujah. 
And this is why Yomaka. I invited you today to present yourself to become an enforcer of the power of the cross. Where we are going, the agenda that should be in your lives, we are leaders of the army of God. We lead angels. If we don't call, the angels cannot come. We lead even Jesus himself. If we don't arrive there, the place will not be possessed by him. The reason uh, we are receiving this power of the cross, we are going to march with it. We are going to preach. We are going to invade the lives of individuals one by one. When you see individuals, the first thing that must come to you is I want to enforce in the life of this person the power of the cross. That's why it should be your first agenda to witness to a person. When you live in town, when you live in any territory, your first agenda, people must receive Jesus. The home group must rise up. The church must rise up. And that is why in the taking of the land, Moses arranges his people into groups, big and smaller, dishes out tasks. God is showing us when we are going to, 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 to enforce this power, we must arrange ourselves as God's army into the church. That's why I'm arranging you to become home group leaders, to become area church leaders. That's why I'm making you to go on the go team. It is not to suffer, just going to witness. I'm arranging you to be enforcers of the power of the cross. If you don't understand it, when you are going there, you say, You say, You say, is punishing us. Do you understand that? When I send you, you will be just scolded. One of my pastors, whenever I send him, the wife scolds him. Don't worry. You are not what that woman says you are. You are a man enforcing the power of the cross. The world is blind. They don't see what we are doing. They don't know who we are. Can somebody shout and say hallelujah? And I want you to change, church. I want you to go away with a new determination. A new taste. A new thirst to start churches. To do what? To start house groups. To witness to new people. To attack new areas. When we are not doing it. Our God is looking at it. He says when shall I enforce us? Much forward. Can you not see that it was a serious work when I was dying on the cross. The Bible says Jesus is waiting to see the fruit of the travail of his soul. Then he will be satisfied. That's why it makes him weep when he sees many of you veterans who no longer know the meaning of the work of God. Who are no longer available to witness, to, to lead a group, <laughs> no longer available for prayer meeting. You don't want to tithe anymore. Even if you get money and you get rich, you are now bitter about giving. That giving 
is frontline work. You are executing the power of the cross. By the money you give, you are creating space for us to enforce the power of the cross. I'm here in the Sheraton today and today I enforced that power in the lives of hundreds of people. Not only in this room, but also around the world. And how did I enforce it? By being in an expensive place. And how am I here? Cherubims did not help me. Angels did not help me. But men and women who said prophet here is my 1,000. Prophet, here is my 5,000. Are you hearing me today? And they want givers to get this revelation. I see some of you are finding it tougher and tougher to give. You are now having to be played hide and seek with. May God help you to see how important to God you are. We are here because of your money. What happened here today? You enabled angels to work in this place today. And you enabled this preacher to be able to enforce the cross today. So when you gave your money, you enforced the cross. That's the way we should see the work of God. Not the way we are seeing it. We are just seeing people. We are just seeing ourselves. Everything is about us. And the self-projection. But I want you to see what it is all about. You are God's instruments. For the enforcement of the power of the cross. Can somebody shout and say hallelujah. And they want to end by telling some of you are being called by God just like I was being called by God myself to say leave everything else and come and preach the gospel. It is not a mistake. When he was ascending these were the first weapons the first enforcing that he was handing over. He was looking for a Muslim's little boy and as he's rising he says where is that boy let's give him power he shall enforce in Victoria Falls are you hearing me here today he was looking come on talk to me here today he was looking He was looking for Mateta's little boy. Where is that boy? Let's give him this fire. He shall cause what is being preached to be seen in multiple places. He shall cause the African revival to be omnipresent and forcing the cross. Where is that girl? Where is that boy? He shall save the prophet. Enabling him. Oh, come on, you don't talk. Praise God. To enforce the power of the cross. A call of God, people, is being given front guns. Somebody say hallelujah. People will lie to you. They will say you are being made a nobody. You are being made that thing that is despised. You are being given God's guns. Can somebody shout and say hallelujah. Put down your books right now. I've talked too much. I now, you, now think you understand. You are a kingdom person. I believe when you go away, it shall be easier for you.
to do the work of God. How many of you find it shall be easier for you to go and do the work of God? Because you now understand who you are and what you are doing. It will be easier for you to give. It will be easier for you to preach. It will be easier for you to serve God in different ways. But also, it will be easier for you to fight all the spiritual battles and all the material battles to transmogrify your own life. To transmogrify the glory. To transmogrify your own life. So that you may be blessed. You are going to fight to prosper. You are going to fight to become better people. You are going to fight to be blessed by God. For things yet become a coward to fight. You shall say, by the power of the cross, I'm getting a house this year. By the power of the cross, I'm getting a vehicle this year. By the power of the cross, I'm getting means to make money this year. God is blessing me. I am the first territory in which I myself shall enforce the power of the cross that I myself may become a blessed person. Can somebody shout and say hallelujah? When you are doing that with that vision, it's easy to make progress. It's easy to become rich. It's easy to know the blessing of God. It's easy to begin doing things bigger than yourself. Because the cause, the cause is bigger than yourself. It is bigger than yourself. Come on, put down your books. If you are saying prophet, I'm saying yes. I've understood that this is the reason for the exodus. The reason why Jesus said to die, get out of his body. And die and take power. It was to hand it over to me. So that I may become an enforcer of the cross. And not enforcer from behind but in the front lines of the kingdom of God. Is there anybody who has understood this message? What is left is for you to present yourself. Can somebody shout and say hallelujah? And to say God here I am. Ah, come on shout and say hallelujah. That's why God was so desperate. Whom shall we send? Who will go for us? Don't you have legs, God? Don't you have angels, God? No. What was ordained? Was that the front line? It's not of the angels. It's not of God himself. It is my people who go to the front line. So I am waiting for them. Come on, if you are saying yes, raise up your hands in the name of Jesus. I wish I could call you to the altar, but the altar is too small. So see yourselves whether you are up there or you are down there as a person who is now presenting yourself. Speak it to God. Pray it out. And say, God, here am I. Today I am changing my perspective. And I am now presenting myself as a member of your front line. The front line of the enforcers of the power of the cross. And I think you know what that enforcing means. That's why you're going to be able to say from now I'll witness. From now I'll start the churches. The home groups. From now I'll give even in millions. I am presenting myself. That's why that power had to be gone in mind through the exodus by Jesus. And dying it was to hand it over to me that I may enforce the things that cause her the glory of the Lord to cover the earth. And Father, here am I. Come on, let us talk to God. Let us say yes. Let us present ourselves in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. My Father, I come before you, Lord. Tell him I present myself. And from this day forward, my Father, I am going to become an enforcer 
Yes, of the power of the cross, heavenly Father. I now understand the authority was handed to me. All this power was mine so that it may come into my hands. Jesus, you went to hell. You defeated Satan so that you may hand all of the power to me so that in the name of Jesus you're working, oh God, in the enforcing of that power in the nations, uh, in the individuals, in towns, in the villages. It's going to depend upon me. In the name of the Lord Jesus, tell him I present myself. And I'm saying yes, oh God. From today, my father, I'm going to become a kingdom person. I'm taking my position now at the front line of enforcing in the name of the Lord Jesus. The power of the cross. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I will put my foot everywhere. Knowing where I put my foot. That's the that's only way God can come. I will put my service everywhere. I will give heavenly father. I will pray. I will preach. I will witness. I will serve heavenly father. But with a new perspective. I am an enforcer. I am an enforcer. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I'm an enforcer in the name of the Lord Jesus. Oh, in the name of Jesus. My father received the offering of your people. They are coming, oh God. We are embracing the importance that you gave us. We receive the power you handed to us after getting it from the cross and from hell. And we say we are presenting ourselves. You said go, we shall go. You said serve, we shall serve. You said give, we shall give. You said preach, we shall preach. You said witness, we shall witness. You said support my servants, I shall support my servants. You said build my church, we shall build your church. You said arrange yourselves to be able to go and take the territory. We shall arrange ourselves. We shall build the church in the name of the Lord Jesus. We shall mobilize it knowing that we are your enforcers. The enforcers of the power of the cross. In the name of the Lord Jesus. My father, touch every one of your people that is presenting themselves. In the name in the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. And now lift up your hands in the name of Jesus. To talk to God about yourself. Just say, my father, from today my eyes are now open. I am the first ground on which I must enforce the power of the cross. And my father, today, my father, I reject everything that is of the enemy, my father, and that is of his lawliness. I'm going to enforce prosperity upon my life. I'm going to enforce health upon my life. Victory upon my life. Because you suffered and died that all these poverty may be defeated. That all this stupid and darkness may be defeated. That every oppression may be defeated. That I may get beauty instead of ashes. That I may get joy instead of depression. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That I may prosper instead of being poor. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I reject all these things. Yes of the enemy my father. And I'm not waiting anymore. I'm not saying I'm not saying I'm not even waiting to say God shall come you have already come you have already put power in my hands to march forward you said go in and possess the land in the name of Jesus and you provided the power I shall mark and take every action that is needed for me to get a house that is needed for me to get a vehicle that is needed for me to get my own business in my own territory my own health and well-being of God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ Jesus name I want you to look at the church today 
I want you to understand. It's so even for the church. I've looked at our churches being ignored. Buildings with falling ceilings. Hands are there. There are people who could fix. Unpainted walls. There are people who could paint. But not just the building. Work that must be done. Not being done. And we become people. That soon look at the, look at the church. And we criticize. When shall they build the church? You are the builder. I didn't hear him and I said you are the builder. You are the builder. Some of you criticize the church. Look upon it, down on it. Even to the level that you are abandoning it. You have no longer even been seen in the services. Our church is now too cold. There is no choir. And it's, we don't see the glory we see in other places. Somebody shout and say, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You see, you have to understand. You are also an enforcer of the power of God to bring a new glory to the church. I say you are also an enforcer. I'm tired of family of God people who are spectators in decaying churches. There's nothing which cannot be changed by one person. Nothing. Even the things I was talking about, men not in the choir. Every stupid male idiot is saying, that I join a choir. I'm talking about you fool. It's you. That is being waited for. It's you that must recruit. We have no home groups. It's you that must start them. So our pastor is now called. I wouldn't say that if I was you. If you really feel it, just keep quiet. Just arrive one day at the pastor's house at uh, 10 minutes to 11 p.m. 11 no knock on the door. Shalom, pastor. Shalom, fundis. I've got enough, some money for you. Here you are. Here you are. Hallelujah, come in, come in. Hallelujah, pinda, pinda, pinda. So, so you are pastor. So fundis. By the way, the Lord told me that you and me today we must read the whole of Ephesians. And we must pray all night. Because the pastor will never reject that idea. Even if he's not spiritual. You will become spiritual because of the hundred dollars you brought. And you become spiritual. Because he's saying to me to himself, Oh, Can I pray me? Come in, come in, come in, I was also thinking about it. You know. If you had delayed coming, you would have found me praying. Don't criticize. Catalyze. Don't criticize. Provoke. There is no portion of the church where you cannot enforce the power of the cross. Even if you judge, it must be in this one. 
or in this one do things of the wisdom of God you will change the church who was this is Rehoboam you should see them in the book of kings he was a king who destroyed the nation he to the altars he began to burn incense like the he had made two calves and said to Israel don't go to Jerusalem these two golden calves are the ones who brought you out of Egypt and one day when he was burning his things a prophet arrived he did not prophesy to the king I think he was afraid to die. He prophesied to the altar. He said, altar, altar, altar. altar, altar. <laughs> Thus says the Lord, a child shall be born from the house of David, whose name is Josiah. And all the priests who are burning incense here, he shall burn their bones at this altar. And after prophesying, he ran out of church. Read on. Josiah got born, became king at eight years old. And from that time, he began to change everything, change everything, change everything, change everything. Brought down the groves. Even things his own mother had messed up. Pulled down those altars. Bent the bones of those Ephos priests. Eight year old king. But he knew and also that prophet who was prophesying to the altar knew he was enforcing the power of the cross and that's why I'm challenging you don't run away from any family of God church enforce the power of the cross enforce the power of the cross revival will come house groups will be started again giving will be done again called pastors will be become hot. Called veterans who serve God. It does not matter. Come on, raise your hands to the Father. Speak in tongues in a few moments. Speak in tongues in a few moments. Speak in tongues in a few moments. Now tell the Father, even in the church, I am now taking my place as an enforcer of the power of the cross. There is nothing, Heavenly Father, needed or wrong in your house of which I shall ever be a critic again. But I will look for your wisdom. But what can I do so that you may come, so that your power can come and begin to change our church? I will bring a new glory. I'll be strong and I will work in the name of the Lord Jesus to transmogrify your church. My father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I will be a Josiah in the church. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I will be the one again that is going to bring revival to your altars. Things are going to change. I will do my portion, Heavenly Father. My father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I will speak to the altars. Altar, altar. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I will do what I can do, my father, to change things, my father, where there is no witnessing, I will start the first witnessing group, my father, where there is no giving, my father, I will start the first giving, my father, yes, I will start the provocation, my father, I will create the opportunities, my father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Are you hearing? If you are angry,
that we are not doing crusades. Organize them for us who come. Organize them for us. Those who have pastors you criticize. Our pastor doesn't preach. He's just a statue. But you're a teacher in the church. Go and organize schools and staff members, and staff members who are wrong. and organize them who are and say, Pastor, I have organized for you. We are come. Even if the pastor slept at two because of no work to do, he would come. Are we together? It's only when you are doing these things. Doing, do it. With a humble spirit. Knowing what you want to work. Is the power of God. Many of you. Your agenda is personalities. You want to be hated by people. You want people to know that you are being disgusted by the things of the church. It's just about you. And, and your importance is an opinion hold. But I'm looking for humble people that say we want to use the power of the cross to bring your life to the altars of the church. Come on, raise your hands again to the Father. Say, I humble myself. Tell it, my Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It's not just the pastors. It's even the children of God. The Bible says, let's provoke one another to good works in the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I want to inspire, I want to coach, I want to bring revival to the church in the name of Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, but because I'm an agenda, because I'm a bringer of the power of the cross. When I go and I put my feet there, things will change there. Come on, can you clap your hands one more time? Come on, can you shout unto the Lord with the voice of triumph? I want everybody to stand where you are. There is something heavy on my spirit. And just bow your head right now. I was speaking here that when Jesus was ascending from that hell, power was now in his hands. He was giving gifts to men. And first he handed the most important guns. Our people will serve him full time. Will become pastors. Will become apostles, prophets, teachers. Our people will say everything else. I leave it because I feel I'm called. I want to execute and enforce the power of the cross from the front. Somebody say hallelujah. I want to give my life to serve God. I can feel it in my heart. That's what I must become. Let's bow our heads in the name of Jesus. I must become a pastor. I must become someone who's going to serve God full time in the church. Who's going to help the prophet and send side by side? Just give time, my time in my life to serve, to build the church in the name of Jesus. That's why Jesus said, The harvest is plentiful, laborers are few. Pray the Lord of the harvest to send laborers into his harvest. As you are bowing your head, God calls. God calls. God calls. Some of you, even before I preach this message, you have been having these experiences in your life. Some has been dreams. Some has been feeling just inside your life. My life 
life must be given to self God. But some as I preach this message can feel it clearly in your heart. My place is in the frontmost line. My place to enforce the power of the cross is by working full time in the house of God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ it is called the call of God and I feel that in this place right now young and old God is moving in the hearts of some of you it is just making it real to your heart I want you to come and serve me I'm one of you, you are one of those. We are also, as I was rising, I prepared front cans for you. If you feel God is calling you to serve Him, lift up your right hand where you are standing. Young or old, it doesn't matter. Raise your hand. And as your hand is raised, you are saying yes. That's how I became a preacher. I was in a place just like this. I was a student in A class one in a university. But when the preacher spoke like this, I just knew I'm one of those. God wants to use my life to serve him in his house. I gave it all up. That's why you are getting this blessing this afternoon. And you too, today, as God is speaking to you, there is a glorious future of the execution of the power of the cross that must be manifested through you. When God calls you, it's not about you. It's about many that must receive life. Come on, raise your hand. You are saying, prophet, I'm saying yes. To this call to serve God. And if your hand is lifted up, whether you're in the balcony, whether you're among the people here, I want you to get out and just walk here to the front in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, just come and just climb these nice, nice steps here. And I want you to come and stand over here. Come, come, come. I know there are many of you. I know there are many of you. Come, God is calling. God is calling. The power of the cross must be enforced in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. But he needs laborers in his harvest. He needs workers in the name of Jesus. I want you to come in the name of Jesus. If you feel you are the one, you can come and climb the steps on this side. And just come and stand in this place. I want to pray for you in the name of Jesus. Is there anybody coming today? Is there anybody coming today? Because you feel you want to give your life to serve God. Depends for these people in the name of Jesus. It is the doing of the Lord. It is the doing of the Lord. It is the doing of the Lord. It's happening again. The ladies are coming. We are the men of the revival. God is speaking also to your heart. I want you to come in the name of the Lord Jesus. Just feel it in your heart. The Samuels are also here. The Samuels are also here. The, the, the Samuels are also here. The Timothys are also here. Move in the name of the Lord Jesus. As well as the handmaidens are also here. Just come and stand here. Yeah. Even if you are in the balconies, I'm waiting for you. In the name of the Lord Jesus, it's the most unique kind of thing. When God speaks in your heart, you will know there's someone out there who is saying, How can I be sure it's God? Because what makes you sure that is God? Because I tell you, Satan will never call you. He will never call you to serve God. If you are feeling in your heart, I should be up there. Be guaranteed it is God. Just answer and say yes. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Just come and walk and stand here on my right hand. Let me dedicate you to God in the name 
of the Lord Jesus. The front line enforcers of the power of the cross. The front line enforcers of the power of the cross. The front line enforcers of the power of the cross. Come and stand here in the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let's speak in tongues a few moments out there. Even you that are standing here, lift your hands and speak in tongues. Come on, let us pray in the Spirit. Everybody pray in the Spirit. Pray in the Spirit in the name of Jesus. And as we are praying like that, just feel it in your heart. God may wants me up there. God wants me to give my life. I must become in the front lines of the enforcers of the power of the cross. I want you to come and stand here and let me pray for you in the name of Jesus. When I finish the prayer, he is straight ahead of me on this side. Our dinner I will be waiting. And he will see you after this meeting. He will help you to understand what must happen from now on. That will my train you to serve God. So church, let's stretch out our hands in the name of Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. My Father, I sanctify this people. I separate you in the name of the Lord Jesus to be an enforcer as a servant of God at the front line. Yes, of enforcing the power of the cross in the name of the Lord Jesus. Close your eyes and pray. Talk to Jesus. Don't play with these things. You came to tell Jesus that I want to serve you. Now close your eyes and tell him that. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, raise your hands right high. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I separate this life. I sanctify them to you to save you in the name of the Lord Jesus. As enforcers, you are giving them the front guns in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I separate them for you in this day. In the name of the Lord Jesus. And the force are 75. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Of the power of the cross. And force us in the name of Jesus. Of the power of the cross. And force us in the name of the Lord Jesus. Of the power of the cross. I sanctify them. And I separate them, my Father. And force us in the name of Jesus. Of the power of the cross and force us in Jesus name of the power of the cross and force us in the name of the Lord Jesus you are giving them heavenly father the front guns in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. you are calling them my father to become your servant your Levites at your altars and force us heavenly father yes of the power of the cross in the name of the Lord Jesus I separate them today I sanctify them today in the name of the Lord Jesus. Enforce us of the power of the cross in the name of the Lord Jesus. Enforce us of the power of the cross. Give them the front guns and work through them in the name of Jesus. And use them in the name of the Lord Jesus. Enforce us. Yes, of the power of the cross in the name of Jesus. She need to be prayed for. Bring her in the name of Jesus. And force us, Heavenly Father. Yes, of the power of the cross. In Jesus' name. And force us. In Jesus' name. And force us. Of the power of the cross. In the name of Jesus. Let the Spirit yield. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And force us in the name of Jesus. Of the power of the cross. And force us, oh God. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Of the power of the cross. Let us clap our hands to glorify God. I said, let's clap our hands to glorify God. I said, let's clap our hands to glorify God. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Get somebody there in the name of Jesus. 
the pastors go there and do what the dean needs to do in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I know the bishops do that in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. So raise up your hands one more time. Come on as the church. And just talk to the Lord for a few moments. And just say, the Lord, we are saying yes. We are going to be enforcers of the power of the cross. Oh, come on. Can you clap your hands one more time? Can you shout to the Lord with the voice of triumph? In the name of Jesus. Make sure those names are taken. And make sure we'll arrange the time when we arrange that meeting with the dean. Can somebody shout and say hallelujah. Hallelujah. So on the first day, when we came here, and on the second day also, I told you, God told me, Hallelujah. That the anointing is going to release in this place is the anointing of a grace that you become a person who will be accompanied. Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Will be accompanied in your life. It's not just that an event of just one blessing will come from the power of the cross. But you are going to live this convention. And you are going to walk a life of sustenance manifestations of the transmogrifying things that are done in the life of a person by the power of the cross. Can somebody shout and say hallelujah. That is the anointing that is coming upon our lives. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The singer sang. He says in the at the cross, O Lamb of God, help me to walk from day to day with this shadow over me. I want to be a person who is walking and there's evidence all the time. This person is being transformed upwards. Spiritually. Financially. Mentally. In ministry. In every wise. By the power of the cross. Raise up your hands now in the name of Jesus. And lift up your voices to the Father. And just say, my Father, when the oil flows tomorrow, I want it to come upon my life, my Father. And it leaves an anointing upon my life. upon my life as I walk into the future. Anoint me in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for a life that will be shadowed and that will be followed by the transmogrification that comes from the functioning continually of the power of the cross in the life of a person. My Father, I want that anointing upon my life in the name of the Lord Jesus and I want to walk from day to day and see that power in the name of the Lord Jesus. As I receive that anointing, my Father, let that grace be released upon my life. It's a doing which can only be done by God. And I want it upon my life. Heavenly Come on, speak like that to the Father. And open your life like that to the Father. Yes, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Jesus. The name of the Lord Jesus. I want that anointing upon my life. We are going to show a gift tomorrow. 
And I told you during the fast also. That God told me that the key to the release of any grace in our lives is not that the preacher shall put a hand of oil upon us. It's the space which we have provided before God by the seed we are going to sow. Somebody shout and say hallelujah. He who sows abundantly is written in 2 Corinthians 9. Shall reap also abundantly. The grace or the anointing of the move of the power of the cross to keep on transforming your life. It will depend. It will be deposited according also to your willingness to sow seed. Because when he made that promise, for God is able uh, to make all grace abound towards you. It was a promise to the giver. Now I want you to decide as your head is bowed. Tomorrow when we come to the anointing service, we should be our last service in this place. I really want to sow my $50,000. My $20,000. My $10,000. Many of us can do that. And some of you, I'm going to sow my $5,000. Or my $1,000. But everyone also, the best you can show. Let's raise up our hands in the name of Jesus. And as you stand before God right now, pronounce your vow. I said pronounce your vow. Satan will say to you, don't make any decision. That is the part of ambiguous Christianity. God works with people of covenants. God works with people of vows who know what they are going to do. So will I sing praises unto thy name forever that I may daily perform my vows. So just begin to tell the Father, my in the name of the Lord Jesus I am presenting myself before you I want that anointing tomorrow my father the anointing that the power of the cross may bring continuous, continual transformation in my life may be sustained in my life heavenly father and my father I am sowing seed heavenly father in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for that grace heavenly father in that anointing service tomorrow. Let God hear your figure right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and speak it to him in the name of Jesus. Let it be known between you and God. And then tomorrow when you come, put it aside and come and have that seed you have pronounced before God. Come and clap your hands for yourself before God right now. I said clap your hands before God right now. Come on, let me hear you shout. I said, let me hear you shout. Shout to the Lord with the voice of triumph. Can someone shout hallelujah? Hallelujah. You know, at 7.30, now half past seven. in fact, 7.45, a quarter to eight. somebody say hallelujah. We are going to bring, begin a service of thanksgiving and of worship here that I talked about yesterday. Can somebody shout and say hallelujah? hallelujah. We are going to worship God out of our own experience. How many of you remember what I said yesterday? Can somebody shout and say hallelujah? And as we are going to do it, we are going to be assisted by many that are going to give testimonies. We are going to be assisted by singers again. Let's clap hands for the singers and the worshippers. But the most important thing is we shall gather here to just stretch our hands to God. 
and just worship God out of our own experience. Just like Israel. Who are talking about what God has done to the Egyptians in the sea. Thanking and worshipping them for that. And they were now also prophesying into the future. Because by the power of the cross, we saw this happening in the past. This is what is going to come to pass in the future. Can somebody say hallelujah? In that worship service, we shall also give as worship. Come on, clap your hands unto the Lord right now. I said we shall, we shall give as worship. Like I told you, we got a full car park of our own cars out there. Blessings and things we left at home. But when we come into the house of God, Many of us at these times of offerings, we mock God. We judge ourselves as people must come and give $20, $50. When daily we spend $500,000 on ourselves. But I want a good number of you to come in this evening. When it comes to the time of Thanksgiving with my money, I shall splash $5,000 US dollars on I shall put a thousand on that plate. Numerous of you come holding at least a hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars. I shall worship him with my offering. Can somebody shout and say hallelujah? Hallelujah. Can you say thank you, Jesus? Thank you, Jesus. But before we leave this place, how many of you have been blessed by this word of God today? Come on, wave your hand at me, see you in the name of Jesus. You know, we're going to rejoice a little bit by just giving an offering, just appreciating the Lord, sowing in the word that we have had. It's too rich for you not to sow into it. It has elevated you to a position you never thought you were supposed to be. Can you say, I am an enforcer of the power of the cross in the front lines? Say, I am at the front and the army of God starts moving when I start to move. Ah, come on, shake your neighbor's hand. Come on, look at them and say, look at me. I'm a frontliner among the enforcers of the power of the cross. Let's take baskets and put them at the places of offering. And everybody just take an offering right now. And put it in your hand, I want to pray. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And then as we sing, uh, let's come and give. And when you have given, uh, go back to your chair. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Come and put your offering in your hand now. Raise up your hand to God. With that money in it. Stretch your hand to the prophet. Expect end of the blessing of the man of God. My father, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Visit every giver, my father. And bless them with the abundance of heaven. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. They are going to bring bold new demands before you. Not as beggars of the past. But the sons who are frontliners. And who are important to you and they know it, my father. Bless them, O oh God. In that avenue, for it pleases you. 
Let this word they have had prosper in their lives and in their hands. I release this blessing upon their lives. In Jesus' name. I want to sing together. This is a family of God. It's a row of, of, of songs. And as we sing it, it celebrates authority. Somebody shout and say, Hallelujah. Say thank you, Jesus. In our position, in the front line of God, in the name of Jesus. Are you ready? I said, Are you ready? Let's dance and shout and come and give.
shout and say hallelujah I want to ask the bishops to come this side in a few moments just go to this side we need to pray for these children from the green light home who come to church today just bishops just, just clap our hands for them I want the Bishops, just lay hands on them now. And church, let's stretch out our hands towards them. In the name of the Lord Jesus. We bless you. Carry this salvation you received in this place. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. My Father, in the name of Jesus. Come and make sure that a child has got the hands of your bishop upon them in the name of Jesus. And their leader who came with them let's make sure that your hands are also upon him or her. My Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, thank you for these children and their Lord. Because they've been among us today, my Father. My Father, we covenant in the name of the Lord Jesus to be prayerful concerning them and to support in every way that we can. But move also upon their lives with your power. Heal Heavenly Father. Cause them to know you as the God who is their help. And in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That they may walk with you in their hearts. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I release upon their lives the blessing of the Most High. Now everyone else hold hands with one another. Like I told you at quarter to eight. We're going to start a service right now. That will be of thanksgiving. Let's just come ready for it right now. But as we join our hands, let's close our eyes for a few moments. This is a very, very momentous and important message today. It has got great, great issues for the future. It's easily the kind of word Satan can just steal that word from you because the depth of it is such as that there will be, there will be deception for some of you but you walk away and do nothing about this message it must change our lifestyes it must galvanize our faith to transform our lives it must put us on the attack and make the kingdom of God and the house of God the first agenda of our lives because God is depending on us. God is banking on us. That we are the ones. The enforcers of his cross, the first enforcers. The angels won't move until we move. Jesus himself will follow with the signs. But he said, power I gave to you. Let's see it this way. As we join our hands together. I want you to pray with the bishop right now. And ask God to give you revelation. And your neighbors, your brothers, and your sister revelation. That they may walk in that revelation. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Of their importance. That God may open their eyes to their importance. As they go forward. Their importance in being the enforcers of the power of the cross. Come on, let us pray for one another. Yes, Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you this afternoon. Father, we thank you, Father, Father, for speaking to us as we stand before your presence. I pray for my brother, I pray for my sister that you may give them a revelation of God, that they may have a new revelation to see their importance as the frontliners of God in the position with the power of the cross. 
Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ. Help them, oh God. Help my brother, oh God. Help my sister, oh God. In the name of Jesus. That they may have a new sight. That they may see themselves in a new way. That they are important before you, oh God. Father, for this work, oh God. In the front line, oh God. Of the power of the of the power of the cross in the mighty name of Jesus we come before you this day oh God and we pray Father for revelation oh God in the name of Jesus Christ that, that we may walk in this revelation that we have been potent before you in the name of Jesus Christ I thank you Father for remembering us for putting us back on set oh God put that consciousness oh God that we are important before you for this work which is before us we are important oh God even in our personal lives oh God Father, give us revelation, Father. Open our eyes that we may see our place that we may run, oh God, to achieve the things you have ordained us as frontliners, as frontliners for the preaching of the cross, oh God, for that power of the cross, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, we give all the glory and you give all the honor. In the name of Jesus, we give all the glory and you give all the honor. Thank you, Father God. We take you this day, O God, in the name of Jesus, for this great revelation that you have made us, O God, those enforcers of the power of the cross in the name of Jesus thank you for empowering us thank you for equipping us you have given us the arsenals for the power of the cross that we may do oh God that we may preach that we may become what you want us to become as individuals Father and also as a church we give glory and to you, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, let's give a clear offering unto the Lord. Give a clear offering unto the Lord. We thank God for his servant and also for him speaking to us. God has spoken to us through his servant and gave us a, a consciousness that we are important before God. And God needs us as enforcers of the power of the cross in his house in our lives I think we must give God another clip of offering hallelujah we may take our seats hallelujah amen few housekeeping announcements the apostle have already told you that you must be baked by quarter to eight. Mu apostle rawato tu zato fanerwange tatu kamuno nengwa zaza seven forty five. Ready to give thanks to the Lord. Chaka gazira kupaku tenda kunamari. Through our testimonies. Kuburiki zane ucha pupu edu. Our worship. Ne rumbi zoedu. So those who have given testimonies to me and to the overseer. Sakavaya vanyore sa kutivacha zopa ucha pupu kwa ndiri kana kuna overseer. Be ready that you will be called to give your testimony. And when you are asked to speak for five minutes, or whatever time is going to be allocated to you, keep to that time. 
Because we have many testimonies. Hallelujah. And also, uh, before we go out, I've, I've not here. Bishop Mateta wrote two books here. Pane mapuku akanyorwa na Bishop Mateta maviri aya ari pano. Happy is that attract wealth. Tika ne unu no kwesa ufumi. And then business person shepherding lesson. Ne zvidzidzo zvinobatsira vana muzvina business. You can go and see the bishop there. Muenda munona bishop and buy these two books. Motenga mapuku maviri aya. Each one of them cost 8 pound 8 dollars. But if you want two of them, you get them for $15. When you go out of this place, make sure that you keep this place clean. We are all advised that you keep the auditorium and the grounds clean. Tino kumbiriswa kuti tichengete na rounda edu ya kachena mukati nepanze. Please put all your litter in the bins provided. Marara ose nga akandwe mumabini aripo. And also as people who are faithful and responsible. Uye osa wanu wakatende ka wanotakura mtoro webasa. May you please register yourself for the convention. For the archbishops, bishops, and professionals or business people. Your convention fee is 100 US dollars. And for pastors, elders, ministers, and medium income earners is 75 dollars. Is seventy-five dollars. All other adults is fifty dollars. And students twenty-five and children ten dollars. My students twenty-five dollars. Vana madora ten. So as you go out for lunch, make sure that you pass through the registration desk. There are also meals which are on sale out there when you go out. Chicken and rice, five dollars, beef stew, five dollars, and other, other things which are being sold there. And tomorrow Sunday, the churches which are on duty is Marondela, Mashingo. Marondera Mashingo, Mashoreland East, Mash East, Arare, Arare, Mutare and Mozambique. Mutare ne Mozambique. Please be there. Wona yekuti mawa popa basairi. And also when we finish the service, we have partner pets a service to help. Mugo basirao to put order. Kuti shinu zisare shakarongeka. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Maybe let me pray for the food. Amen. Hallelujah. I would like to ask our dignitaries, our bishops. Elders. To stand up and leave so that they may go to the place where they are getting their refreshments. I will ask our bishops to take their leave. All of us. Yeah.
for the preaching of the cross. The showing of the body 
Kwe mui, in the blood of the Lord the or the preaching of the cross it is the wisdom in the power of God put Jesus back into your Easter this season and join us for the preaching of the cross convention 2024 at the world class Arara International Conference Center from 5.30pm on Thursday the 28th of March through to Easter Sunday the 31st of March 2024 Join Andrew Taunishi, a seasoned man of God whose ministry has changed thousands of people all over the world through the power and wisdom of Jesus Christ and experience the preaching of the cross that will bring salvation and miracles to your life. I've been healed again, now see properly. Admission is free. Put Jesus back into your Easter.